praises. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All praises, glory, and honor to the most high. Shabbat shalom. Happy Passover, Israel. Oh, no, nah, y'all look, y'all dry eyes in her, man. Y'all don't even mean it. Happy Passover, wow. Israel. Let's get it. Yo, yo, short niggas, yo. Oh, oh, man. Now we talking about, yeah, we about to go live. We about to make a few things happen. Yeah, shout out to the daughters of Zion. Man, yeah, I, I Zion hand, yeah, on, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got y'all see all the decoration, how everything set up. Been one table and everything on one table on the floor. They look, look, they, they got the labels on out there. Yeah. With the, the yeah. Women, women are more creative than men. Y'all know us, boy. We just we'll simply just I. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throw some up there. You warmed it up at home and bought it in. You just left it dirty. Well, we've been trying to use the air fryer yeah. for a microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And all praise to the most high. Good to see y'all face. Shout out to everybody online. We bringing in the uh Passover feast of unleavened bread, high holy days for the children of Israel. You dig? Uh the most high has shown us mercy for thousands and thousands of years, uh, redeeming us from bondage from our oppressors, and how beautiful it is that plagues are in the earth right now, and we on the verge of redemption. So everybody, everybody that's about that revolutionary type spirit. That's the Israelites should be observing this. You feel me? All you gotta do is read the book of Exodus. You understand? That was revolution. That was like y'all about to get about a bondage. Most I said his children gotta serve him. Meaning what? You really can't serve him with all you got while you in bondage. We had to leave bondage to fully serve him. Let my people go so they can serve me. That's the rest of the phrase. It digs so it was good to see y'all facing the building. Shout out to my brothers, soldiers in the building. Good to see y'all. Shout out to the dogs of Zion. Y'all looking beautiful. Shout out to the Israelites online. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it in. Uh, we gonna kick it off with a few prayers. And uh, y'all know we gonna face Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get up. That's right, young Shaw. That nephew, and then that, that Hebrew came out the womb saying, y'all. Uh, after we, if y'all warm now, it's gonna be hot after we finish praying. Cause we gonna get it done. We're going to pour all our spirit out to the Almighty, pray to him, run through a few scriptures. Uh, Y'all see Duel over there on the on the keyboard, so, you know, we got a few musical things going on, too. We're going to praise the Almighty. We're going to eat good. But remember, this is a spiritual feast. Oh, Y'all see all that food over there. This is not a buffet. You know, we're going to eat good. This is more about what the Most High has done for us and more specifically what his son did for us. You dig when he was executed roughly 2,000 years ago. If you was living for around now, roughly 2,000 years ago, Messiah was crucified around 2 o'clock p.m. Right now, they would already got him off the cross and put him in that, that sepulchre. So if you was living roughly 2,000 years ago, you would just witness the execution of your master. And then our nation turned against us, the priests and all them. They started hunting all the believers. You feel me? So it's a serious time, even though we're going to enjoy ourselves. You understand? Keep in mind this thing is serious. You feel me? They have a serious madness hour. You feel me? Israel is waking up, praying for real, giving it they all, all they spirit, all they soul to what? Serve the living power. All right? But guess what? Like we came out of Egypt back then, you got to come up out of here. Eventually, you have to leave what you call home. You understand? So it's going to take a total change in what you call life. Like all they knew was Egypt back then. You know what I'm saying? It's like all you know is America. All you know is Big Mama House. That's all you know right now. But the most I say, them my sons and daughters, let them go so they can serve you. And then they witnessed the miracles. They witnessed his stretched out hand. And they had to leave slavery and bondage, what they thought was living, and go toward the land of milk and honey. All right? You have an inheritance in this earth, and it ain't Mississippi. It ain't Arkansas. You understand? It's Israel, the land that was promised to your forefathers. Meaning eventually this place got to come down. You got to come up, come together and leave. And that's frightening. Look, 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 that's uh, very frightening to your adversaries, whether they are the other nations or your own people. That's frightening. What you mean the slaves got to leave? I mean, y'all consume, we consume us. Now, we don't produce nothing, but we, we spend $1.3 between that to like $13 trillion every year. 
So if we decide to ever you click up, unite, and leave, naturally this place is gonna go down because it depends on your spending power. You see what I'm saying? So that's why everything is aimed at you not coming together, not loving each other. You feel me? So this story of Exodus is very powerful, very revolutionary in its essence. Uh, you know, Moses came on through, handled his business, even though he was a rich man. Like he had it like in modern day time, he would have had it made in corporate America. But he said, you know what? I'd rather suffer with my people. Send me to the mud to make bricks without straw. You understand? I'll come up with my people. That's the mind we all need to be in. Not because America got you, because well, you ain't yourself suffering, but the majority of your people are. So in your mind, you figure what? Well, it ain't bothering me. I'm cool. Crazy niggas need to get a job anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong mindset to be in now. You see, plagues in the earth. Everybody know it. Why you think we got, you know how we got to keep it now? Y'all see what's going on? We ain't got to say too much, get too many details, but y'all see how we... You know, we had, we had to get a look in cock Hebrew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because plagues are in the earth when you're done talking. All right. You have your conspiracy theories about who got a patent on what when you're done talking, plagues are in the earth. All right. So now's the time. Pay attention, be more obedient, and be in more full belief and faith. You feel me? Because the most I got his. He said, Give me my sons and my daughters. I'm going to gather them from the east and the west and the north and the south because they got to serve me where I need them to serve me yet. You understand? So, hey, all praise glory and honor. Hallelujah. 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 All right, let's get in here, my man. Pick us a powerful psalm, man. Let's get us a few prayers off, y'all. We're going to face Jerusalem. Jerusalem is that way. Uh, We're going to shake the heavens and the earth with these prayers. Hit a few scriptures. Uh, I don't know the exact, like, when we done, how y'all doing the the music or whatever, just let me know. Cue me on in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can do whatever you have the spirit lead, brother. And you know, you want to speak up though, man. You can't be in your bed. You can't you can't be in your uh mix 97.1 voice. Doc winners. Before we get the Okay, come come on with it, bro. No, 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 no. After the prayer, okay, 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 okay. Well, then, how the spirit lead? Let's get it done. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get it done, Nehemiah. Let's get it, y'all. Jerusalem is that way. We gonna face that corner right over there. We gonna pray. Some of us get on our knees. You know how we do. You know, uh, if you're scared to do that, I don't know what to tell you. You be all right. All right, so let's get it done, man. So I'm gonna pray. Hey, let the, let the brothers them know outside. We about to pray. Let know you can come on, you know, face that your rules. And let's go ahead and rattle the heavens and the earth. Good to see these Hebrews in the building. Man, what I'm talking about. Yeah, bro. Good to see my brothers. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, we got Tampa, Florida, the building. What I'm talking about. Bro was like, yeah, whatever. Like, bro, you, we, we heard this stat, but whatever. We're about to visit the DMV. <laughs> uh huh. Sneak time. All right, come on. Now, let's get it done. All right, y'all, we're going to read this Psalm 136, but the way we're going to read it, if any of y'all been around here, it always ends as far as the sentence. I'm going to give you the first one so you can understand how we're going to do it. It says, Oh, give thanks unto your house. And we all say, For his mercy, mercy endure forever. All right. And then we'll read the second verse. Oh, give thanks unto Elohim of Elohim. For his mercy, mercy endure forever. All right, you follow it? Because we do need his mercy in this hour, right? Yeah. We tired of Pharaoh ruling over us, ain't we? And we ready to go home? Yeah. 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 Psalms 136 with the most high submission. Let's get her done, my beloved brother. Oh, give thanks unto your house. Oh, his for his mercy endure forever. Woo. Oh, give thanks unto Elohim of Elohim. For his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the sovereign of sovereign. For his mercy endure forever. To him alone doeth great works for his mercy. For his mercy endure forever. Woo. To him by wisdom made the heaven. For his mercy endure forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the water. For his mercy endure forever. To him that made great lights. For his mercy endure forever. The sun to rule by day. For his mercy endure forever. The moon and stars to rule by night. 
for his mercy endure for us. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endure forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endure forever, with a strong hand, with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endure forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into part, for his mercy endure forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of, for his mercy endure forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercy endure forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endure forever. To him which smoked great king. For his mercy endure forever. And slew famous king. For his mercy endure forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites. For his mercy endure forever. And Og, the king of Bashan. For his mercy endure forever. And gave their land for inheritance. For his mercy endure forever. Even inheritance unto Israel for his servant. For his mercy endure forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state. For his mercy endure forever. And has redeemed us from our enemy. For his mercy endure forever. Who giveth food for all flesh. For his mercy endure forever. Last verse, y'all. Oh, give thanks unto the Elohim of heaven. For his mercy endure forever. Hallelujah. Say la. All right, y'all. We're about to do the masters of the Lord's word. We're going to do it in Hebrew and in English. If you know what I'm saying, repeat after me. If not, just hold it in your spirit. All right. Repeat after me. Abi no. Abi no. Shabbat 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 Yikadeh. Yikadeh. Shika. Shika. Tapo. Tapo. Malkute ka. Malkute ka. Yeah, I say. Yeah, I say. Ratso ka. Ratso ka. Shabbat 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 Hey, Barret, Barret, Etlakim, Etlakim, who can you? Who can you? Tang I knew, Tang I knew, Hayo, Hayo, who slap I knew, who slap I knew, oh, oh, Katai knew, Katai knew, Kamo, Kamo, Shell So King, Shell So King, Gam, Gam, a knock knew, a knock knew, Lakotin, Lakotin, Ladu, Ladu, Wao, Wao, Tapia knew, Tapia knew, Lee Day, Lee Day, Nisayo, Nisayo, P. E, 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 Colt say new, Colt say new, Mean Hurrah, Mean Hurrah, Kila Kak, Kila Kak, Wahabura, 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 Wahati Buret, Wahati Buret, Laome, Laome, Ola Mean, Ola Mean, Ame, Ame, Hallelujah, 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 Praise the Mighty in English, in English, our Father, our Father, in heaven, in heaven. Holy is your name. Holy is your name. May your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. And your will be done. And your will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. I tell you pray. I tell you pray. And forgive us. I sin, as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's get it. Let's get it. Real thing this. Yeah. Happy Passover. Peace of unleavened bread. Y'all know how we do. All right. First scripture we're going to go to is Isaiah the 43rd chapter. Isaiah 43. We're going to read 1 through 7. My beloved brother Nehemiah. Let's get her done. Yaganan Eliezer in the building. My eye jet to die in the building. All good. All right, Isaiah 43, we're going to go to first, y'all. We're going to fly through some scripts. Uh, we got plenty of uh, classes online about the in-depth understanding of uh, Passover. Matter of fact, probably more than likely every day this week, we're going to be hitting Passover from different aspects and all that. All right, we're just going to run through this so we can go ahead and fellowship. Uh, at the end of this, we're going to... Uh, Send up some more powerful prayers, and then we're going to pray against the forces of darkness. And uh, uh, our Deacon Duell got a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, a musical selection. 
And he wants us all to join in. We need y'all keep blessings with the ironic blessing. You know what I'm saying? Let's lift up a, a powerful and a, a beautiful voice our Elohim, man. He done did wonders in this earth. And look, you can go search them out yourself. They still there. You understand? Sodom and Gomorrah is still there. Littered with chunks of brimstone to this very day. You understand? He left testimony in his earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pass it on down, my brothers. All right, first scriptures, Isaiah 43. All right, let me share the screen real quick. Isaiah 43, let me share this real quick. All right, let's get her done. Let's go ahead and throw down with this feast, man. All right, let's remember what the Most High has done for us. Hallelujah. 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 You heard them words like, remember what the Most High has done for us. That's right. right. That should be an immediate highest praise. Being that we all came from somewhere, a part of life, and we all know it's dark. Death was at our door. Jail was at our backs. You know what I'm saying? And nothing but calamity in our lives. But when you chose to go to the Most High, notice how all those old doors closed, new doors open. Life got a lot better. The weight got a lot lighter. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And now you walk in. Look at all y'all. Hers are now locked up. Everybody natural. The brothers walking their culture. And yeah. nobody calling the old, you know, got you living like you some type of Negro. You don't realize who you are to whom you belong to. That right there is precious above all things. A tree that knows its roots can grow great fruit. I like that. Yeah. Let's get her done. Like Isaiah 43. Let's start at verse 1. Right. Let's start at verse 1, man. Let's really get down and understand why we're here. Um, because we'll be doing a disservice if we don't understand why we're here. I just hear the man, they got some good lamb down there. Yeah, this ain't a buffet, this is a spiritual feast. You understand? We both be in a certain mindset. Remember, we about to leave captivity. Pharaoh was on our back. All right? Isaiah 43 and 1. Let's wrap. Let's get it. Child time. All right, all right. Verse 1, Isaiah 43. Yeah. But now, thus said yod hey why that created thee, O Jacob. Come on home. And he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. Do what? Fear not. That's a commandment. What are you afraid of in this hour? I ain't never seen so many Negroes afraid in my life. You are commanded. You believe in the God of Israel. You are commanded not to be afraid. I ain't, I'm talking about conscious brothers and sisters. Call themselves in the truth. Afraid. You are commanded not to fear. He ain't gave us the spirit of what? Fear. But of power. That's a spirit. Love. That's a spirit. And a sound mind. Not a double mind. Not a timid mind. You were commanded not to be afraid. Let, let the heathen be afraid in this hour. Yeah. They deserve to be afraid. <laughs> What's you doing being afraid? For not, right? Go ahead. For I have redeemed thee. You see that bought you out of bondage. Whether you're talking about physical bondage or the bondage to Satan himself, which is sin, you've been redeemed. Mm. That's something that has to do with bondage, slavery. If you've been redeemed or you don't went through redemption, that means your, your slavery has been reversed. Mm. Y'all free men and women in her. Still moving like we slaves, though, huh? Tiptoeing. What if masters see me? Look, you can't serve two masters. Because you either going to hold to one and let go of the other. Or you're going to love the one and hate the other. You can't serve two masters. You've been redeemed. By the blood of the Son of the Most High. Move around like it. Act like it. All right, go ahead. That's why you had to be taken out of captivity. Because as long as you here, you worried about getting to your job. You worried about paying your bills. You worried about what you're going to worry about. Mm. Instead of being in the wilderness, totally dependent on us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when them children come to you with them hands lifted like this, these children are like this. Look at these babies. You think they worry about what bill getting paid? Where they close the next meal coming from, they already shaking their head. No I would take care of that. You know what I'm talking about? They don't care how it comes, it comes. And they get it every day, how they live. They just joyous, happy, and ready to please. That's how we should be toward our every time. That's right. It says, For I have redeemed thee. Come on. I have called thee by thy name. Not, not the Negro or the African American. 
your name. You understand? A people without a history don't exist. Mm -hmm. You whatever they tell you you are. Why you think we go by so many different names? We everything under the sun. Everything. Right? He said, I called you by your name. You're Israel. Royalty. Mm -hmm. That's who you are. He is a prince of the most high power. That's what your name means. You're not a Negro, an African-American. You're not shiftless and feeble-minded. Mm. You're none of those things. You're not a crip or blood or in a, a fraternity or sorority. That, that's not you. You belong to the true and living creator of heaven and earth. That's who you belong to. I called you by your name. What else to say? Thou art mine. That means you mine. Most I just made a bold statement. You belong to me. You don't belong to Donald Trump. You don't belong to whoever your oppressor is scattered to these four corners of these earth. You belong to the true and living God, the creator of heaven and earth. That's what he's saying. We ain't making this up. You belong to him. Act like it. All right, go ahead. When thou passest through the water, yeah. I will be with you. That's a promise he got for you. Like, like it ain't like it ain't happened before. Have we ever passed through waters? What stories do we got? Well, we passed through waters and he was with us. Huh? The book is that's what Passover is about. Splitting of the Red Sea. Crossing that Jordan, going into Jericho. Y'all just was an earthquake at the Red Sea, the very spot we crossed that thousands of years ago. It's just an earthquake three days ago at the very spot we crossed. It's all in the Daily Mail. Earthquake at the Red Sea, the very spot the ancient Jews cross, crossed over fleeing from Pharaoh. What is this, a mistake? What is this? What is this? A coinky thing, huh? Now, remind that I'm still handling things. I'm the one that run it. That's what the Most High is saying. All right? So, look, we done passed through waters before when he was with us. Right? Even when it looked like it was impossible. How are we going to get out this thing? That ain't for you to worry about. Just be obedient. Trust in the most high. And watch wonders happen right in front of your face. Woo! And you really going to serve him then? Like, yeah, I, I believe not. Yeah, yeah, he got the juice. I'm rolling with him. All right, go ahead. I when thou passes through the water, yeah. I will be with you. Promise. Go ahead. And through the rivers, mm. they shall not overflow thee. Come on, huh? And when thou walkest through the fire, come on, thou shalt not be burned. Do we got testimony on that? What stories we got in the Bible of them being tossed in a furnace and not being burned? That is well, the, well, that, that, set it up in that, here. That, <laughs> you say Daniel 6, that's the lion's den. That's the lion's den. Daniel 3, Daniel 4, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The three Hebrew boys that were thrown into the fiery furnace mm -hmm. and they were spurred. And when they got out that sucker, they 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 closed and even smelled like barbecue. That was all the most I like try me. I deliver mine. Who are we to doubt him? He look, he got record, he got proof, he got testimony. Who are you to doubt the power of the true and living God? Mm. Who are you? When we got testimony, read the book of Joshua. It happened to Abraham too. You understand? I'm talking about not a, not a hair on his head was singed. The most I said, you know what? Get out of Babylon. I got somewhere. Now, look, you my friend. Get on out of Babylon. I'm going to make of you a great nation. See, the most I deal with the men and women that's great in the scripture, the ones that got unwavering faith. Daniel and the lion's den, unwavering faith. Well, that was a hot situation. Unwavering. They ain't feed that lion for a week. You understand? They go up in there, Daniel sitting there petting the lion. Like, dang. Then they threw his accusers up in there and that alliance had they way with them. It says it had the mastery of them. Told them, told, told them it, he even's out the frame. So the most high has testimony and witness. Right? Now is the time to believe. Now ain't the time to doubt. You don't want to be no victim. All right, go ahead. Doc. When thou walkest through the fire, Thou shall not be burned. Come on. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. That's right. Promise. Go ahead. For I am Yahweh thy Elohim. Wow. 
the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Wow. So you can't compare him to no other God. You hear that today. If they're all the same guys. No, this is the Holy One of Israel. Holy means separate. He's set apart from your other little gods. He, he's not the same as that little blue little god over in India. Mm. Shiva with six arms. The transgender God, he's totally separate from all that. He's not the same God as them Muslims, the Arabs and them. He's the Holy One of Israel. That's your creator. Go ahead. For I am Yahweh, the Elohim. Yeah. The Holy One of Israel. Thy Savior. Come on home. I gave Egypt for thy rest. Knows what he's telling you. You dig? I drop nations so you could breathe. How dare we turn our back on him? Egypt, Egypt is a nation. See what he say? Now, what does it mean to hold somebody ransom? You hold them ransom until that what terms are satisfied. You pay the money. Yeah. He said what about Egypt? I gave Egypt for your ransom. Meaning I killed the Egyptians and destroyed them so you could be what? Redeemed. That's look. So what are we talking about? We talking about one nation yeah. against another. Yeah, I got it. That's powerful to me. I'm like, whoa. He just said, I killed other nations so you could breathe. How dare we doubt him and turn our back on him? Mm. Or be lukewarm in this hour. Mm. You supposed to be on flame and fire for the most high right now. In full belief. They both be looking at you crazy like, why this Negro ain't got no mask on? And no gloves. Like, what is wrong with him? He ain't heard about the Wuhan virus. <laughs> they show me looking at me while I'm out in public. Like, I be smiling. I'm letting, look, the most I say, I drop nations. Now, if you go back and read about Egypt, plagues start hitting that sucker. And look, his people was good. So in this hour, be his people. Be the ones that obey him. Because even the rebellious of us going down. Those of us that's rebelling, the most high got something for you. You're his enemy at that point. If you acting like a heathen in this hour, you a heathen in his eyes. You gonna get the judgment of some heathens. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. What else you say, Hebrew? I gave Egypt for thy ransom. Yeah. Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Those are more nations. I dropped them so you could live. Man, that's powerful. Right? So whenever you start feeling down in life, read that, that verse right there. Like, now the God I serve drop nations just so I could live. Just like if something happened to any of these children in here, y'all already know. You understand? Y'all already know what we got to do. So just like how you feel about your children. If harm coming to your children, you already know what time that is. Right? All right, so how you feel like that about your children, but the most I don't feel like that about us. You mean tell me your love is greater for your children than the most high love is for his people? No. That's impossible. You can't love harder than him. Wow. Come on, Hebrew. Since thou was precious in my sight. Wow. Thou has been honored. Come on, home. And I have loved thee. Mm. Therefore, will I give men for thee. Come on. And people for thy life. I'm going to give people for your life. You're going to see it. You imagine how them Egyptians felt when they woke up before we left and all the firstborn of the men and the animals was dead. He'd be like, whoa, like, hold on, your guy get down. Yeah, that's how he get down. It was payback because they was murdering us. And most I say, look, Israel, my son, you better let him go or else. You understand? They want to get a hold on this plague. They better, they, you better do what you need to do for the children of Israel or you're going to see worse. The most I just getting warmed up right now. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. You're going to see more and more. You understand? Until this heathen tap out. What is it we need to do? You're going to know what time it is when them heathen say, hey, uh, pray to your God for me. When the slave master tells the slave, pray, for you, pray to your God for me. You know it's redemption time. Because power is gone at that point. All right? Come on, homie, bro. Verse 5. Yeah. Fear not. Do what? Fear That's not. a commandment. You are commanded not to be afraid in this hour. Go ahead. For I am with thee. Mm. I will bring thy seed from the east Woo. 
and gather thee from the west. You in the west right now is why that's so powerful. You and what they got a western hemisphere. He just promised to gather you. You're precious in his eyes. Believe that most I love everybody up in here. He just wants us to obey him and to really believe in his hour. He loved everybody up in there, the creator of heaven and earth, and said, look, I'm going to get my sons and daughters about that situation. That's right. Right? You want to be in that number? Obey. All right? Come on, Hebrew. It makes sense why he destroyed their first sons, because they've been destroying his first sons. Because Israel is known as his firstborn in church, mm -hmm. as a nation, mm -hmm. in totality. So if you've been destroying my nation for 400 years, 430 by that count, counting from Isaiah, Lord. I mean, Israel and all that. Now you're talking about a payback. They needed to see that. Mm. Why kind of God you serve to kill children? The same kind of God you serve to kill all our children and kill us for 400 years. I'm not feeling sorry for them. I'm not even praying, Lord, forgive them. No. Mm. Lord, deliver them to the slaughter. As you said, that is how I see it. You see it. Mm. Pray like David. David had a heart like who? The most high. Was David counted in sin for his purpose? Oh. Verse 6. I would say to the north, give up. Mm. And to the south, keep not back. Come on. Bring my what? Sons. Sons from far and my what? Daughters. Daughters from the ends of the earth. Like in order for that to happen, that has, there has to be some type of divine intervention, which you call miracles. That's what has to happen, y'all. So be prepared. You're going to see it. You're going to see it turn up in this hour. Like, whoa, did y'all see that? You understand? And even y'all that's on the fence. Like, man, I don't know, man. You know it. That's a good story. But I don't, you know, split the Red Sea, though. I don't know. Until they start doing the documentaries and they find chariot wheels from the 19th dynasty at the bottom of the Red Sea. It's a junkyard down there. What would you call it? A junkyard <laughs> of Pharaoh's chariots. You understand? J to the he. Shabbat shalom. I, that's right. What up, OG? All right, verse 7. Let's get it. Even everyone that is called by my name. Come on. For I have created him for my glory. Uh huh. I have formed him. Yeah. Yeah. I have made him. Straight up. Drop that. Let's go to Exodus 11. Y'all, we're going to run through this real quick. I know it's kind of warm up in here. You understand? But y'all know we heat up when Nick Rose get together, right? Y'all be all right. We, we do got the air on, though. <laughs> we do got the air on, but hey, you know, sit through this. The Messiah uh, set through the suffering of the cross. Right. Mm. Surely you can sit sit through a little warm temperature. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crucifixion. Exodus that's eleven. Go ahead. Express check, yourself. Check this out, y'all. Now, right now, in the central standard time that you call according to this captivity, it's what time? Seven thirteen, right? Do you know what time it is in Jerusalem right now? And it's already written it's Thursday on the clock. It is three thirteen a.m. Christ has been. Killed, pulled off the stake, laid in an empty sepulchre that no one has ever laid in. Stone has been rolled and sealed. Mm. Thinking that it is finished. They got it. But they feared him so much, even if they had to guard the tomb. Guard the tomb. That's a cold game. They sent 600 plus to arrest you. 600 elite soldiers. Elite. They sent 600 elite soldiers to arrest Messiah that night. Of our people. Click on that word bang. We say a, a band of soldiers. It's a 600 legionnaires. Those are elite soldiers. You understand? That's special forces. You don't sit like that. Mean he was feared by the masses, by the powers that be. And then he spoke and said, Who y'all looking for? Why are we looking for you? He said, Oh, yeah, that's me. I am he. They all fell back and hit the ground. Damn. Just from him speaking. Then they got up. Get on up. What's it, so who y'all looking for? They said his name again. Hey, boys, he said, name? I am he. I look, am. you looking for me? Let my brothers go. And he willfully went. He, he Look, he showed. Look, I laid my life down. Nobody took nothing. Wow. Powerful. Right. Did you say voice of many waters, huh, boy? 
boy. Many waters, trumpets, thunder. So that means the Messiah went. So, so he wasn't speaking like diddly do neighbors. Hello. Hi, happy Passover. It's me, y'all. Nah. <laughs> nah, when he spoke at certain scriptures, when the when the when the master or the father spoke and vouched for his son from heaven, they said that's an angel speaking because it thundered. Psalm the 29th chapter tell you the voice of the most high is like thunder. Yeah, that's why you said the uh about to be a storm out here. I love it. Yes. I love to hear the thunder. Yeah, speak to us. Yeah, yeah. Again, don't take it lightly, y'all, because this this ain't the time of Michael Thomas to speak. You in the dark and going against Gethsemane, praying, and 600 hear one man voice, and they all drop. That's one voice. Now, we barely talk long, loud enough to hear 30 or 40 or 50 people. So that's a voice that can hit 600 ears. 600 times 2 ear per person is how much? 1,200 ears. What's your voice on him? I mean, I don't know too much about decibels and all that, but that might have to be, I mean, enough to make all of them hit their backs. Then I mean, they had to get up and straighten out their armor like, dang. Wait, crack. They didn't hey, just by speaking, that's what they heard in this hour. They follow all y'all follow him. You feel me? And got the power. You look, y'all got people in y'all, y'all got people in y'all history. They call it fire out of heaven. Just from the spoken word that spoke and declared people healed. Get up. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what they heard in this hour. Y'all done tap back in. Y'all done learned how to speak. You understand? And and it get green lighted from the father's throne in the heaven. Ooh, I like that green light. He sanctioned it like, yeah, all right, go ahead. That's what's for that. That's what they fear. They don't fear because you're in an open carry state. Everybody can go get them some extendo clips now and run around with guns all and over oh, there. Oh, they got drones. They don't care nothing about all that. You understand? They fear you didn't tap back into your power. God means power. And that you can ask him, rain down fire. And he'll green light it like, whoa. You understand? You better leave them Israelites alone. Like they follow the true and living Messiah. Ooh, uh, and come on. You didn't win no wars since you were mighty in numbers. You were not the mightiest in number of people on this planet. Yeah. He didn't choose you because of that. He called you from the beginning to worship him because you were made in his school. Hallelujah. All right. So what we at? Me and Exodus 11. Bro, got it. Exodus 11 and 1. Let's get it. Exodus chapter 11, verse 1. And the most I said unto Moses, yeah, you gotta get you on left. Hold on, I get you on left. Let me see what you say. All right, try that. Let me see. And the most I said unto Moses, yeah, will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh mm. and upon Egypt? Afterwards, he will let you go in. Mm. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Mm. Speak now in the ears of the people, and let every man borrow. Of his neighbor and every woman of her neighbor, jewels and silver and jewels and gold. So he like, look, most I like, look, I'm about to bring one more plague on these Egyptians. The last plague was what? Who know? Who was? What was the last plague? It was the who? The death angel, and the death angel killed what? Who? The firstborn of all the Egyptians. The firstborn of their children. And the firstborn of their beasts. He said, "Look, when I get done, when I get, when I take my, when I put my hands on this last time, they gonna, they gonna make y'all leave captivity. They gonna make y'all leave, right? Go ahead." Verse three. And the Most High gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Mm. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, mm. and in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. Come on. And Moses said. Thus said the Most High, about midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt. No, this is this is not the devil. You understand? The Most High told Moses, I am going to go out around midnight into the midst of Egypt. It had been midnight tonight, 3,500 years ago. All right? I am going to go out to the midst of Egypt, meaning he was going to put his spirit out there. What they call a death angel or the destroyer. That was, that, look, that's from the Most High. That, that wasn't the devil destroying Egypt. All right. Go ahead. Verse 5. And all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. 
from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, mm. and all the firstborn of peace. Everybody. You see that? All the firstborn are going to go down. Come on, Hebrew. And that shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it anymore. Verse 7, so powerful. Go ahead. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Shall not a dog move his tongue. He said, I'm going to hit them Egyptians. I'm going to hit their animals. But against the Israelites, a dog won't move his tongue against them. That's how much he loves you. We just read he gave Egypt for your ransom. Then we just read that. So he let you know this is what's going to go down. It's going to be a great cry throughout Egypt. Y'all, that's like us waking up in the morning. That's like us waking up and all the firstborn of these heathens are dead. And their dogs. You know, heathens love them dogs. Kiss them in the mouth, sleep in the bed with them all type. That's like us waking up. You understand? Put clothes on them and everything. That's like us waking up tomorrow, yawning and scratching and, and checking the news and all the firstborn from Donald Trump on down is dead. Whoa. I mean, the most I had moved, but that was, this is from the most high. It's not the devil. It's not a game, y'all. All right. Last, he did not come back home. <laughs> Go ahead, Hebrew. Verse 7 again. Yeah. But against any of the children of Israel, Shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the most high does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Y'all see that? It's a difference between you and the rest of the nations in this earth. It sound harsh, I know. You grew up in Babylon. You think we all, you know, free. You believe in the Constitution. It's so all men are created equal. Where was you when they wrote that? What was your status when they wrote that? We swear by God that all men are created equal. What was your status when that was drafted? In 1776. What was your people? No? Except, except for the slaves. They couldn't have been talking about you because you was property when they wrote that. The horse was treated better than you. The pig and the sloth was treated better than you. Because look, they even know when they're set up in their kingdom, there is a difference. Stop it. You know there's a difference between you and everybody else. It always has been. But even the most I tell you, there's a difference between the Israelites and the Egyptians. Both are dark-skinned nations. Right? But one is his people and one ain't. Mm. Go ahead. Verse 8. But all these thy servants shall come to the land of Egypt and bow down themselves unto the sinner. Get thee out. Mm. And all the people that followed me. And after that, I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger. Come on. And the most I said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. Come on. That my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. Come on. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And the most I hoarded Pharaoh's heart. Mm -hmm. So that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. So some people be like the most high is playing mind games, right? Because it says the most high heart in his heart. In, in other words, made him rebel against what was just said through the mouth of Moses. Right? So then you're like, well, that's not fair of God. You know, some people people talk like that. You know, your God plays mind games. Huh? How do you answer that? How do you answer that? Let's go to the Proverbs 21 real quick. Proverbs 21 and 1. Let's answer that with the scripture. Get a little Romans 9 and come into this Exodus 12. We only got a few scriptures, y'all. We ain't even go dive real deep into it. But you got to understand, you're dealing with the Most High. He's the ultimate puppet master of all puppet masters. In other words, he's pulling the strings when you're done talking. And there is a reason why he raised Pharaoh up or allowed him to be raised all the way up. So that when he fell... Everybody in the earth would know that's by the hand of God. Think about it. The United States is the most powerful nation in this earth right now. When it go belly up, you understand? Everybody going to say that's an act of God. You understand? When you see that head off that Statue of Liberty in the gateway arch split down the middle, because lightning is striking you, look, that was the finger of God. Real talk. It's just what it is. Right, so that's why the most high will allow certain nations and even certain individuals to get so high. 
You understand? Now watch this. Proverbs 21 and 1. Show y'all the most I get down. Go ahead. Let, 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 let y'all get it. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the Proverbs hand. 21 and 1. What did it say? The king's heart is in the hand of the, of the most high. The heart means mind in the Bible. The king's mind, no matter who ruling in this earth, his mind is in the hand of the heavenly father. Go ahead. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. What will means desire. Wherever the most high, whatever he desire to turn your mind, he'll do it. Stop playing with him. You understand? Stop being rebellious because eventually he can give you over to what's called a reprobate mind, which is a defiled mind. Or like it says in the book of Thessalonians, he'll send you a strong delusion for you to die. Or that's why it's, it's in all our best interest to obey him. Right? And serve him. Thank the most high. Count yourself blessed. You feel me? Because you could be a, a, a rebellious, proud heathen like Pharaoh. But the most I said, you know what? I'm going to let you get puffed up all the way. You think you God, don't you? Pharaoh thought he was God on earth. My hand did all this. Nebuchadnezzar thought the same thing. Look at Babylon. Look at all this gold. Surely it's by my hand. And while he was speaking, the most I answered him from earth. He said, I'm going to give you the mind of an animal. And I'm going to send you to the field to eat grass for seven years. And when you're done, guess what? You're going to cry out and say, ain't no God but the God of Israel. Right? That you will know it is the most high that give the kingdoms of this earth over to whomever he desire. And he set over it the basis of men. Base mean low. So that's why when you look at the, the orange pervert Donald Trump, you'd be like, he ain't smart at all. He, I mean, he is kind of funny at times. Like, this even is arrogant. But the most I put over these nations, the basis of men. Is how he get out. His mind is in the heart, the hand of the most high. Don't think anybody out here doing what they want. All right. Show you another scripture. Romans 9 real quick. Then we're going to read Exodus 12. Go to Romans 9, my brother. All right. We're going to start at verse 4. We're going to read on down. So like right where we talk about Pharaoh. Because it says he hardened his heart. You understand what things he playing mind games? Let him go. Don't let him go. Like, what is this? And that means Pharaoh wasn't resisting him. So how is that fair? You know how people be today. That ain't fair. Most I didn't play fair with Pharaoh, really. Really. All right, Romans 9. Let's start at 4. Romans 9, chapter. Romans 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So this is Paul just saying, I wish I could I could be cut off from the Messiah so my brothers and sisters could understand. You understand? That, hold on. That's a that's a stand-up statement right there. Moses said the same thing in the wilderness. Heavenly Father, kill me, spur your people. Paul just said, I wish I was cut off so my brothers and sisters could get this truth. You understand that today they got nerve to call this man a sellout. He just said, curse me, cut me off so y'all can understand this power and this truth. Again, Moses said the same thing. And Mo Moses, I told Moses, move out the way. I'm about to drop every Israelite I brought out of Egypt. And I'm going to raise up a nation through you, Moses. I'm tired of these stiff neck, hard headed, rebellious Negro. They making me mad. Because today we do what we want to do. You can't tell us nothing. We do what we want to do. That's called being self-willed. That's rebellion. Can't tell you nothing. You got to figure it out after 400 some years, huh? Really? Right? What do you propose? How do we get out of this? So Paul, Paul saying, look, man, I wish I was cut off so y'all can get this thing. I'll be fine with that. Let me not make it so y'all can make it. All right? Next verse. Who are Israelites? Come on. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Come on. And the glory. All this pertain to Israel. The adoption, the right to be called sons and daughters of the Most High. And the glory. Go ahead. And the covenant. Covenants with an S, old and new. You got old covenants and new covenants. Old Testament and New Testament. That's what you have. 
All right, go ahead. And the giving of the law. Come on. And the service of Yahweh. And the service of the Most High. Go ahead. And the promises. And the what? And the promises. And the promises of the Most High. All this belonged to Israel. Covenants, promises, service, glory, and adoption. Meaning, meaning in, in layman's term, this whole Bible belonged to you. This whole Bible belonged to you. That's how much you love by the Almighty. All right, go ahead. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came? It's concerning the flesh. Messiah came for them Israelites. Powerful. Go ahead. Who is over all. Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Come on home. Verse 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh had taken not effect. Yeah. But they are not all Israel. Mm. Which are of Israel. Meaning every Israelite ain't right. We ain't under no illusion just because you were Israelite knowingly that you were all of a sudden mysteriously so righteous. Every Israelite don't follow Messiah. And even if they claim they do, you got to you got to study the actions and, you know, or come out their mouth. And if they really about what they say, all Israel is not Israel. That's the truth. All right. Go ahead. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Uh, are they all children? I trip off that. Abraham had many children. Right. But just because you were descendant of Abraham don't mean you a child of the Most High. Y'all, that's in the New Testament. That's deep because your argument would be what God made all us. We all his children, not according to the Bible. Abraham, his friend, had many children or many seeds. You understand? But just because you are a descendant of Abraham don't make you a child of the most high. Watch how I get down. Go ahead. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That's major because Abraham had Ishmael, the Arabs. Abraham had Midian, Midian nights, and he had many wives and concubines. He had children with many women, right? But his covenant and the blessings of the kingdom of heaven passed through his son Isaac, even though Isaac wasn't even the firstborn. So just because he had seeds don't make them all children of the Almighty, right? The line had to pass through Isaac. That's in the Bible. Go ahead. That is. They which are the children of the flesh. They that are the children of the flesh. Abraham's children. Go ahead. These are not the children of God. These are not the children of God or the children of Yah. Right in the Bible. Trip off that. Go ahead. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Who are the children of the promise? Go back up to verse 4. Read verse 4 for me. Read verse 4. Who are Israelites? Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption. Come on. And the glory. Mm. And the covenant. Mm. And the giving of the law. Mm. And the service of Yah. Come on. And the promises. And the promises. The Israelites are the children of the promise. All right. Read verse 8 again. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Yeah. These are not the children of Yah. So everybody, according to the Bible, is not a child of the Most High. That's the New Testament. They ain't even the Old Testament. Some people be like, well, that's the Old. No, that's the New Testament. That's Paul himself saying. Everybody is not a child of the Most High. That's right. And even when you find out you're an Israelite, you can be acting like a heathen and be declared not a child of the Most High. You got to be doing what you've been called to do or created to do. These are not the children of Yah. Come on. But the children of the promise are accounted for the seed. Come on home, verse 9. For this is the word of promise. Come on. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. See, Abraham's Abraham's wife, Sarah. Right? It had The seed had to come through her. Go ahead. And not only this. Come on. But when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. Come on. For the children being not yet born. Children weren't even born yet. Because some people, it was based off what Esau did. Children weren't even born yet. Go ahead. Neither having done any good or evil. Wasn't even born to do wickedness or righteousness in the earth yet. Go ahead. That the, pers that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand. That the purpose or desire of Yah, according to his choosing, might stand. Go ahead. Not a word. Come on. But of him that called. That's right. Go ahead. 
it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Come on. As it is written. As it is what? As it is written. Come on. Jacob have I loved. Jacob I have loved. Go ahead. But Esau have I hated. That's Bible. That's Bible. Thank the most high you a child of God. That's just what it is, y'all. It's his choosing. Like you got up and chose what you put on today. You mean you tell me you got the right to choose, but the heavenly father don't. How you can choose every day. You can choose to wash your rear end, brush your teeth, choose your outfit, choose how to respond. You understand? Choose to put oil in your car. Your whole life is full of choices. So now that you find out the most high has choices, now you got a problem with it. Just thank the most high. You, you a chosen vessel. All right? Just don't put him to shame now that you know that. All right, go ahead. What shall we say then? Come on. Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Come on. Yah forbid. Because that's the next question. Is the most high unfair and unrighteous just because he chose and loved Jacob or hated Esau? Yah forbid me. No, it ain't. If you got the right to choose, you understand, the most high for sure got every right to choose what he desire according to his purpose. It's the truth. All right, go ahead. For he said to Moshe. Now we talking about Moses. Going back to the Exodus, right? I say to Moses, go ahead. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Come on. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Y'all will mean desire. Who the most I desire to have mercy on, he going to have mercy on. Who he desire to have compassion on, that's who he going to have compassion on. What do y'all think this feast is about tonight? Him showing mercy to us. Right? Whether we was in Egypt or whether we was in Jerusalem, what the Son of the Most High did for us, so he can show mercy and would turn away the wrath of the Heavenly Father against us. Because the Most High was smoking hot at us. Smoking hot. All right, go ahead. Romans chapter 9, verse 16. Come on. So then, it is not of him that will. It ain't about your desire. It ain't about what you want. Dang, really? <laughs> and about what you desire. Go ahead. Nor of him that runs. No matter how fun, you, how fast you run the race. Go ahead. But of Yahweh that shows mercy. It's all about the mercy of the Most High and His election and choosing. Take yourself out of this. You understand? You say, look, my life ain't my own. The life I live, I live according to the faith of the Son of the Most High. I'm here to serve. My life ain't my own, and nobody in here should be self willed you understand? You should be asking the Most High every morning, what what do you what orders do you have for me? You know, send me there, or you know, give me words to speak. I'm here to serve you and serve your people. This is all about Him showing mercy, His choosing, His desire, His will, His purpose. Go ahead. And that's basically having faith. You know what I'm saying? And, and what He what He tells us. You know, um, a lot of us uh, choose to. To second guess that first uh sort of speak mind that we have you know uh, they can't hear you online speak up about okay. oh, a, speak lot of, up. a lot of us uh tend to uh second guess that first uh thought that we have you know what i mean and when we uh second guess that first thought we go with the with the next thought which nine times out of ten after me you know was totally um uh, bogus, basically, you know. I mean, I, I ran into a lot of problems, you know, listening to that second uh, mind. But our first mind, you know, and that first thought is always, I believe, coming from the Most High. So we we choose to uh, we choose to second guess that and not have faith. But when we do have faith regarding uh, His Word, and we just roll with it, good things happen. Verse seventeen, uh, Romans chapter nine, verse seventeen. Yeah. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh. And we talking about Pharaoh? Exodus 11. We talking about Pharaoh. And how he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. All right? Go ahead. Even for this same purpose. For this same desire of the Most High. Go ahead. Have I raised thee up? See? He raised Pharaoh up for a specific purpose. Go ahead. That I might show my power. That I might show my what? My power. Come on. In thee. Come on. And that my name might be declared. Throughout all the earth. The reason he raised Pharaoh up and hardened his heart so when Pharaoh fell, everybody would praise the God of heaven and earth. Everybody said, look, the only way he fell 
was by the hand of God. Mm. That's why. That's why. So when the most powerful nation in the earth in this day go down, you gonna know. You ain't gonna be praising a whole bunch of Nick Rose that grabbed some AKs and thought they was gonna take over the White House. Y'all, we ain't getting out of captivity trying to run up on Capitol Hill <laughs> and change policy. It, it'll never work. You be dead when you get to the threshold. That do a drone strike from, the, from one of them satellites. It's over for thou. You know, you know what they got? They got what's called hellfire missiles. These heathens got what's called hellfire missiles. And last time they dropped one of them deals on uh poor little jihadi John, the little Muslim, the Muslim, it melted him, froze his shadow on the ground. That's the weapons these heathens dealing with. You understand? So you ain't getting up out of this thinking you about to organize and run up on Capitol Hill and change the law. The Black Panthers tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. And you see most of them dead and got government jobs now. Or them sold out. Your powers in the true and living creator. All right? Come on, let's get it. Romans chapter 9, verse 21. Verse 18. Verse 18. Yeah. I thought you said stop at Pharaoh. Like you did. I did. Verse 18. All right. Therefore, have, therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy. Yeah. And whom he will be hard. Whom he desire, he hard. Thank the most high, your mind ain't been hard and rebellious in this hour. Being self-willed. Check that rebellious spirit. Check that, men and women. Get that gone. You understand? Because the most high, get you over to that. Oh, you want to rebel against me, huh? I ain't had have it and die with it. Oof. You don't want no smoke from the most high. That's how they talk in the streets today. You don't want no smoke. Literally, he got a fiery spot for God. Baby say, whoa, whoa. Out of the mouth of babe. So <laughs> no smoke. Yeah. Come on, Hebrew. Go ahead. Verse 19. Yeah. That will say then unto me. Yeah. Why doeth he yet find fault? Yeah. Or who hath resisted his will? Like Pharaoh wasn't resisting his will, so why did he find fault in Pharaoh? You no, know, good question. If you don't know how the most I get down. All right. Next verse. Nay. No. Go ahead. But Oh man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Who are you to reply against the Most High? As if you smarter than him in this hour. Some people say that you you serve an unfair. Your God ain't fair. Who are you to reply against the Almighty? Go ahead. Shall the thing form say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? I, can you say to the Creator, why you make me this tall or this dark or this light? You know, it's a vain argument in the end. You're the formed. He's the one that forms you. All right, it's just what it is. Certain things are out of your power. All right, go ahead. Have not the potter power over the clay? Yeah. Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor? Yeah. And another unto dishonor? If you ever, if you ever was on the pottery reel in school, you know they had us making uh, mugs and different vases out of out, out of clay. Right, you be spinning a little pottery wheel, get your little water, get your little clay. So I'm gonna make this cup, but it ain't coming out how I want it. And you'll destroy the clay, ball it up, and try to form something again. Right, you got that power in pottery class, right, to form something to your liking. And if you don't like it, destroy it as quick as you formed it and make something else, don't you? And out of the same clay, you can make a vessel of honor, which you eat off of that fine china. Made out of clay, and what you boo boo on that toilet is made out of clay. You got a vessel of honor and a vessel of dishonor made out of the same lump. It's the truth. Dang, what you boo boo on? Y'all still, y'all still drop dung right here. Y'all looking like I'm speaking Chinese. <laughs> I think everybody got a kamol in their house, don't they? All right, well, act like you know. All right, go ahead. What if Yah yeah. willing to show his, his wrath yeah. and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? No, because there are vessels of wrath that he made of dishonor, and they were made to be destroyed. Wow. 
So now you can understand why the devil was created. He's a vessel of dishonor. He's a vessel of wrath. He was made to be destroyed. He was made to fulfill a purpose. When the most high done with him, he's going to destroy him. And thank the most high. You're not a vessel of what? Dishonor and a vessel of wrath. Because some vessels were made to be destroyed. Judas that sold out Christ. Even though he had a, a decision to make, but somebody had to fulfill that role. Y'all do know that, right? Judas' betrayal of Christ was prophesied in the book of Psalms. My own familiar friend who I used to eat with and walk to Sabbath with has lifted up his heel against me. That, that was a prophecy of Judas betraying the Messiah. He was a vessel of wrath made to be destroyed. What does it say in the Gospels? It was better off he had never been born. Thank the most high that ain't you. You watch movies, don't you? Is every character in the movie a good character? Mm -hmm. Somebody got to play the bad role, don't you? Somebody got to go down in the end, don't you? You watch it, you get your popcorn. That was a good movie, really. But what about him that casted the movie? He had to pick good characters and bad characters. He had to pick the hero and the villain. And they make trillions of dollars off these movies doing what the most I do on the daily. Truth. Sober and reality, ain't it? You thought your God was just a God of your own convenience. You just pull out your little shoebox and worship when you want to. You thought your God loved everybody and was the tooth fairy. No. You dealing with the creator of heaven and earth and he make hard line decisions every second of every hour since the beginning of what you call time. Really? All right, come on. Romans chapter nine, verse 23. Yeah. And that he might make known the riches of his glory. Yeah. On the vessels of mercy. That's us. We're the vessels of mercy. Go ahead. Which he had before prepared unto glory. Which he before prepared unto glory. Made you for glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Exodus 12 and finish this, y'all. Exodus 12. That's right. Short. That's short, ain't it? You know that Yeah, little joker. Out of the mouth of babes. Y'all, we, we go in depth about the Passover online. Y'all can find them. All right. Let's read about this. Exodus 12. We're going to read 1 through 21. And then we're going to read about the Messiah's last meal like we did last night. Y'all, we're going to break bread. And we don't understand about the new covenant. You understand the bread is his body, the wine represents his blood. You understand? We're going to toast up. You understand? But be, be here in sincerity and truth. Don't be here in, with no wrath and no hate on your mind for the next brother and sister. Or you could be eating this feast unworthily. Damnation tonight. You eat damnation on yourself. We're going to eat it. For this cause, many are weak, sick, and dead because they showed up to the feast still having what? But they call static and beef for the next brother and sister. Stop that. Stop that. Messiah did all that for us. He died so you can live. Most I dropped Egypt so you can be here today. And what you mad because somebody ain't responded to you a certain way. Or somebody owe you five dollars. Uh, somebody spoke to you a certain way. Man, let that go. Most of your problems are petty anyway. And they all can get talked out and resolved and you know it. Exodus, Exodus 12. All right, Exodus 12. That's not living bread down. Huh? Okay, okay. They passing that bread around. Yeah. Come on, Nehemiah. Let's get it. All right, all right. We're in Exodus chapter 12. Let me say it. I got one more plague to hit them with, and they're going to let you go. Tap out time. I'm about to ransom them. And listen, we didn't pray for each of y'all. We didn't pray. God bless America so He didn't say nothing like that. <laughs> uh, tell him again, brother. <laughs> he never say, no, listen, you won't find one captivity in this that we served under where we prayed for that captain. Yeah. Only in America. You know why that works here in America? Because they destroyed and removed the mindset of who you want. They learned as they went. This is the same spirit of the same people that kept you captive all the years. Man. They learn, they evolve, if you want to call it. What are we doing wrong? Always. We left them with the knowledge of their God. Yeah. And their identity. So what we need to do is remove the who from the what and leave them with the unknown. 
That way you cannot tap back into your power. And everything that they do in this captivity keeps you in sin. So your guy ain't even drawn to you. Mm. They wicked. You want to smoke a cigarette? Put some um, pig in their filters. They'll pump it. You see what I'm saying? You want them to sit there and do this? Give them fake holidays. That's honor to pagan gods. They'll keep it. Mm. The Negroes celebrate Thanksgiving more than the other nations. And they're the one who's thankful for conquering you. The Negro is the happiest man alive doing trick or treat. The kids run around trying to look like a heathen. Christmas come and they the happiest white man come down to get milk and cookies. You've been going to work doing nine to five for your children. You ain't never came home for milk and cookies. Last time your children said I'm milking cookies for you. We hear about that white man on Christmas. Milk and cookies! You see what I'm saying? Got you working on Janice, a pagan god, and knew you're in the dead of winter. And the Negro out in New York grieving that they're kissing each other in the mouth. Do you see what's going on? Every time you lend your members to serve or worship, even participate, you draw your god that much further from you. And then you ask the Negro, where's Passover? I'm not Jewish. Pentecostal. Oh, I used to be Pentecostal. You a feast day? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And you you got to wake up. The, the, the first resurrection has to be in your mind. The okay. battle of the dry bones is about you. You are first free inside. Defeat the enemy, which is the enemy. Then you can access the greater me, which is the God. Oh, Kill the old man. Paul told you to die to yourself. Mm. That's it. Mm. Y'all ready for this? Let's get it. Let's hear some history. That's right. Exodus chapter 12, verse 1. And Yod Hey Wahe spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month. This what? This month. Come on. This is the month of a building. The month we are in now. Go ahead. Shall be unto you the beginning of month. Come on. Not January. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So you hear Hebrews around this time always saying Happy New Year. I said Happy New Year, yo. You know what I'm saying? New Year is not 10 days into the winter. After the winter. It's January 1st, 12.01 a.m. New Year is springtime. You know, the grass is growing. Flowers are blooming. Birds are chirping. It's the New Year. The most high New Year is in the springtime. And that's when we celebrate the Passover because we came out of Egypt. We came up out of bondage. So this is the New Year for us. Technically, it started roughly two weeks ago. But 14 days at evening into the New Year is when we keep the Passover. That's now. This is the evening of the 14th day. Really, we're into the 15th day now. Unleavened bread. This is this is the time we are in. So don't think we four months off. Y'all talking about Happy New Year, but y'all was locked up or something. And they didn't have calendars up. And they talking about Happy New Year now because it's the Most Highest New Year, not serving the the Roman goddess Janus. That's what he just said. That's where they get the month January from. Google it, y'all. You gonna you see? Can't make this up. That's right. Come on. So this, this is new. this is a new thing in the earth because this is what you call the Gregorian. So they just brought this new year when the Greeks or the Gregorians came and took over and gave you their times, their seasons, and their understanding. That's what the enemy does. He gets you to move away from your God, mind, and your God, peace. Right? So when you sit around the Gregorian, they understood in the Julian calendar, which is the calendar before this one, they understood during the spring or the equinox. That, that was the beginning of the new year. Yeah. And what did they give you that Nick Rose loves to do every year when they was not in the tree? April what? What happened April Day. April. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you even know why they gave you that? Because they fooled you into understanding that that was not even the spring of the beginning of the year. And gave you a groundhog. <laughs> hey, man. Boy. Hey, <laughs> when your enemy raises war <laughs> against you and it's inside. The deception runs deep. It runs deep. Hey, because look, they about to do uh, what you call Easter too coming up, right? But everybody here know bunnies don't lay eggs. You ain't never had no scrambled bunny egg for breakfast. 
Bunnies don't lay eggs, y'all. Chickens, snakes, and lizards lay eggs. So then your next question should be, well, where do we get that from? Mm, glad you asked. You understand? Then that's going to do your research. It's real easy today. You got smartphones. You understand? Exercise them thumbs and make them work for something that's good. Look up the pagan history of Easter. It will blow your mind. It has nothing to do with who the Bible called Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. It got everything to do with a Babylonian fertility goddess. Ooh Where you think you get the whole eggs and the bunnies from? You heard the phrase growing up about, you know, doing this like jackrabbits. No. It's, a, it's a sex ritual that you involved in. Right? The Messiah in them was not dying Easter eggs and getting Easter baskets full of jelly beans and, and uh, itchy grass. <laughs> And say, and say, yeah, what that, that grass you see, it's like I'm gonna he was not looking for the Cadbury bunny. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's not in the Bible nowhere. You got that from your enemy. All right, come on, now, let's get it. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, Yeah, in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers. A lamb for a house. Straight up. And you'll see this lamb foreshadows Messiah. And the 10th day on into the 14th of being slaughtered. He is the lamb of the most high. So he played the Passover redemption all the way down. You'll find him on the 10th day uh, in the temple arguing with the Pharisees and them. They cross-examining him. Trying to find a blemish in his doctrine. You understand? He played it all the way down to his death. The lamb of the most high. Yes, Alright, go ahead. And if the household be too little for the land, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the soul. Yeah. Every man, according to his eating, shall make count for the land. Yeah. So now that we know the lamb has to do with the Messiah, you better be up here believing in him. Every man better give his count for the lamb. Because if you ain't covered, if you're not covered by his blood, you're finished. Y'all notice y'all ain't come through that door. Wasn't no lamb blood tripping off the, the doors, was it? You got lamb blood on your head, mama? No. The lamb blood should be on your heart. Trip off that, because that, that's not the... Because the lamb we eat tonight is not the Passover lamb. The Passover lamb is the son of the Most High. That's right. This is all, it's all belief in what we're dealing with now. Spiritual. So you'll you see he's the lamb, and by his stripes and by his blood, mm -hmm. we, we are healed. We can actually attack Satan in his kingdom like Moses attacked Pharaoh. You understand? Straight up. Yeah. Through the blood of the Messiah. So all this you're reading right here, the, the, the formalities. Because some will say, well, y'all ain't got no lamb blood dripping off that. Why the women ain't got lamb blood on their head wraps? Coming up, coming up in there. <laughs> y'all going off. Because we believe in Messiah. That's why. We understand him as the lamb of the Most High that's unblemished. Meaning he was without sin. You understand? And his blood was, his crucifixion was, was his blood was allowed as a propitiation or an atonement in the eyes of the Most High. You understand? He was a peace offering for us to pacify the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Because he was going to destroy every last one of us. You understand? So he's the lamb and we claim his blood. There is lamb over there though. Y'all going to throw some lamb in your whiskers tonight and Enjoy yourself. Throw some lamb down your throat. But that's that lamb ain't for salvation, though. Y'all realize that, right? Ah, great point. You can eat all the lamb, that physical lamb you want over there, and still go to the lake of fire because you didn't believe in the lamb of the Most High. Make sense? Give us a yahoo if it makes sense. All right, let's get her done. Let's get her done. That's right. That's going into the vessel of dishonor. The commode. All right, go ahead. Idea, idea. Come on. <laughs> go ahead. Come on. Right. Verse 5. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Christ was without sin. Go ahead. A male uh -huh. of the first year. The only begotten son, the firstborn of all creation. Right. Son of the most high. Go ahead. He shall take it out from the sheep. Yeah. Or from the goats. Yeah. Which he came out of his people Israel. That's right. Go ahead. And ye shall keep it. Up until the 14th day yep. of the same month. Come on. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel yeah. shall kill it in the evening. By the evening of the 14th, the Messiah was crucified. Yes, he was, he was yes, on that cross crucified. 
That's why they said, you know, hurry up and get them off the cross because the high holy day was coming in, which is the feast of unleavened bread. Y'all, that's what we in now. Mm -hmm. So had you been living 2,000 years ago, the Messiah would have already been crucified around 2 p.m. today. You understand? They hurried up and got him off the cross, prepared his body, and laid him in a sepulcher or a tomb that nobody had ever laid in. Then you count three days and three nights from there, and then that's when he resurrected. So count it. Yes, so Wednesday, Thursday is what? It doesn't have to be a complete day. So count it. Wednesday, Thursday is what? Thursday to Friday? Friday to Sunday. And when you read it, says, as it dawned upon the first day of the week, that would have been Sunday morning, or what you would call Saturday night. He was up and gone. By the time he got to the tomb, he said, who you looking for? He already risen. Mm. That's past tense. Y'all missed him. So he didn't rise on Sunday morning like they're going to hold Easter Sunday and all that. That's a fallacy, too. So they got they hold on. They got there on Sunday or the first day. And the angels say, who you looking for? He's he has risen. That's past tense. They say he rising right now. Y'all late. Y'all missed him. You understand? But three days and three nights had to be fulfilled. So, y'all, they killed a fallacy of what they call Good Friday. You understand? You can't get three days and three nights from Friday evening to Sunday morning. If you've ever been locked up over the evening, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that don't even, that, look, that don't even count for two days. <laughs> they don't even need a two-day count for that one. You understand? Are you praying, son? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, Hawk, let's get it. And just real quick, count it. Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to... No, they got, it's not called Easter Monday. If you go by Good Friday, you can't. He said he was going to be in the grave three days and three nights. Right. That's Matthew 12 and 40. Write it down. As Jonah was in the belly of the well, three days and three nights, so shall the son of man, speaking of himself, be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. That's right. So you get to, off his own mouth, he said he was going to be down for three days and three nights. So you can't play it how you want to play it. But that's because they don't understand Passover. All right, y'all, this is considered a Sabbath that we in. The first day of unleavened bread is a high holy day. You should do no serve our work. It's treated as a Sabbath day. All right. Uh, the last day of uh, Passover or the unleavened bread, which will be the 14th next week at evening, all the way to the 15th at evening. That's a high holy day in the Sabbath. And we got the weekly Sabbath coming up. Three Sabbaths in one week. But in order for you to understand that, you got to know about Passover according to the law of the Most High. If you don't, you say, hold on, they say the Sabbath is coming. So that must have been a Friday he died. And then on the first day is Sunday, so he must have rose on Sunday. And that's where the fallacy come in. And then they totally slept you with the Easter Bunny. They totally slept you with that. You didn't even ask no questions. Like, hold on, I ain't never had no bunny eggs. Right? If I told you there was a ritual to another God, would you stop? Should. Most of us, most of us, like whatever. I'm not stopping. I'm gonna do what I want to do, it's right? Manager. It's for the kids. All right, come on, knock. Let's get. Go right. ahead. Yeah, Palm Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's all. That would have really been a Friday that you came into uh, exactly. Yeah, that would have really been on a Friday. That Palm Sunday is off too. And so, according to Deacon Duell, which is true, the Palm Sundays. Oh, uh, any of y'all ever been in the Ash Wednesday where they put the the ass on your forehead, the cross on your forehead. Hey, man, hey, you've been heavily engulfed in some paganism, believe it or not. Yeah, the Babylonian priesthood. All right, come on, now, let's get it. Verse 7. Yeah. And they shall take the blood. The blood of the lamb, which is the Messiah. Go ahead. And strike it on the two side posts. Yeah. And on the upper door post of the house. Yeah. Wherein they shall eat. It. Look, you are the most high's house or temple. Right, so you have to, your confession have to be in the Messiah, and, and doing that, what are you doing? You are covering yourself with His blood. He's the Lamb of the Most High. Make all the sense of the world. All right, go ahead. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. Yeah, roast with fire, barbecued, huh? That lamb better be roasted with fire. Go ahead. And unleavened bread. Yeah. And with bitter herbs. Y'all, we got bitter herbs. Y'all eating right here? Got some bitter herbs for you rookies. Initiation time. We're gonna get y'all some, we're gonna get y'all some thick pieces too. 
Yeah. Man, we got bitter herbs, plenty of them. So we got the lamb, we got the unleavened bread, the unleavened bread, and we got the bitter herbs. All right, that's the Passover meal. All right, everything else extra is thank the most high. All right, go ahead. And with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Come on. Eat not of it raw. Yeah. Nor sodden at all with water. So there is no lamb tartar or bloody lamb. Can't eat it raw and you can't boil the lamb. All right. This goes into the Messiah being the burnt offering for us. The burnt offering was considered the sin offering. Roast with fire. All right. Go ahead. His head with his legs with the pertinence. Thereof. A whole lamb. Right. Go ahead. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Right. And that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye yeah. shall burn with fire. Y'all don't throw none of your lamb bones away. We gonna keep all them and burn them tonight. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna have a little, a, a little plate up here or something. We gonna collect all the lamb bones. But you, have, whatever's left, there is no taking lamb home tonight. If you wanna cook lamb tomorrow for day one of the feast of day two, you can do that. But that lamb we eat tonight, no leftovers. No leftovers. Can't take that on. They got to get burnt. It was not eating, get burnt too. Yeah. All right, come on. And thus shall ye eat it. This is how you eat the Passover. All right, go ahead. With your loins dirty. With, go with ahead. Your, with your loins dirty. Yeah. Your shoes on your feet. Yeah. And your staff in your hand. Come on. And ye shall eat it in hate. That means you eat this and hurry up and eat it. This is not the buffet. Understand? Think about the mindset. We was about to leave captivity. And the whole army of the enemy was on our back. He was eating in haste. Y'all, this is a spiritual feast. We're going to throw down. We're going to eat more and enjoy each other. But y'all know what I do every year? I look around and see who actually eating fast. And usually we, we, we quickly forget. Music get turned on. We get high five. Boy, I love you, boy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't make sure we eat that initial meal in haste. Hurry up and eat it. I sure. You know what I'm saying? Loins girded staff in your hand. You understand? Just basically, just basically let you know, be prepared. What if redemption was now? Are you ready? That's what you get out of it. If we was leaving captivity now, who in here would really be ready? Or would you be making excuses? Now I got to go back to work Monday. What you mean? I got to clock in. I got to check in with my P.O. Stop by the house, grab some. Yeah, nah, nah. Are you really ready to leave and, and dedicate your entire life to the Almighty? All right, go ahead. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Come on. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Yeah. Both man and beast. Come on. And against all the Elohim of Egypt, I will execute judge. That's powerful. Go ahead. I am. Yeah, that's why he's telling you eating haste because he said, I'm about to throw down. I'm about to drop the firstborn of man and beast, and I'm dropping all them hotep Negroes, all them Egyptologists. I'm dropping their gods, their belief, all of it. I'm gonna show the earth I'm the only true and living power. That's powerful. That's powerful. And in this day, you see all these Egyptologists, they running scared too. Poor little Sarnetta, he's scared. Some of y'all know about Sarnetta to be on YouTube. Where are your Egyptian gods at now? Sarnetta running around with gloves on and mask. Huh? Priest Jabari didn't got sick. Huh? They spent their time mocking the God of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. So the most I said, I'm executing judgment on all they belief. I am the most I. Mm. And thank the most I, he's going to stand up and fight for his people because all your leaders have failed you. Mm. If he don't stand up and move for us, who's going to move for us? All your leaders either done sold out, dead, or in jail. Who gonna fight for that? Who bringing awareness to your cause at the United no. Nations? Right. Nobody. All right, come on now. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, yeah. And when I see the blood, yeah. I will pass over you. Come on. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. Trip off that. You better be covered by the blood of the Messiah. You better really be a believer in this hour. You know, the plagues in the earth. You want to be a victim? You know, you want to be no victim. Right? Time to be obedient by any means necessary. 
Stop being rebellious and hard-headed and self-willed before the plague break out on you. All right, go ahead. Right. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. That's right. Remember this. Come on. And ye shall keep a feast to Yahweh throughout, throughout your generations. I mean, even to this day, y'all. Go ahead. Ye shall keep it a feast by ordinance forever. You see that? Forever mean even unto this very day. You ought to remember what the Most High has done for you. Always rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High. If you don't, you're going to forget. And, we, and you'll be back Christmas tree ducking. Uh -oh. Straight up. If you don't give his people something to rehearse in a righteous manner, you're going to go back to be a heathen. Remember this, right? 3,500 years ago tonight, the Most High dropped the destroyer on Egypt. You understand? On your behalf. Come on, Ock, let's get it. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. That's this right here. Unleavened bread, all right? We got to eat this for a whole week. All right, go ahead. Even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your house. Mm. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day unto the seventh day, yeah. that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Y'all hear that? You understand? So get rid of all the no, no White Castle burgers this week. Not even the bottom buns on it. You understand? Brothers, no, no birds. You understand? You, you, after you get through this week, you're going to be a little more healthier. going to lose some weight. You understand? Because you're going to be dodging leaven all week. You're going to be reading ingredients. But y'all know symbolically leaven represents sin. So like you dodging leaven or what they call yeast, a rising that dodge sin. Because you can dodge leaven all week and be full of wickedness and malice and still not fulfill the conditions in this body. How are you keeping the feast of unleavened bread, but you hate your brothers and sisters? That don't make sense. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That means you are eating leaven, right? And you shall be what? Cut off from Israel. Get yourself together. All right, go ahead. And in the first day, yeah. there shall be an holy convocation. That's what this is tonight. A holy yeah. gathering, a rehearsal, a calling out. All right, go ahead. And in the seventh day, now they spoke earlier. Come on. There shall be a holy convocation to you. That's next, I think, Wednesday evening with the 14th, whenever the 14th is. That evening, that's Tuesday evening to next Wednesday evening. That's another holy gathering. That's the last day of the feast. Go ahead. No man of work shall be done in them. Come on. Save that which every man must eat. Come on. That only um, may be done of you. So whatever we must prepare to eat, you can do that. You can't do it. Other than that, today all the way to the morning evening is treated like a Sabbath. But if you need to prepare food, you got you got you got the green light to do it. All right. Next Tuesday to next Wednesday evening, treat it like a Sabbath. But food must be prepared. You got the green light to do it. Huh? In the Bible. Come on, let's get it. Ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. Uh-huh. For it for in this self same day, yeah, have I brought you brought your army? Your what army? Trip off that. I mean, Moses must have been training up some soldiers out of them slaves. When he came back into Egypt, he had to raise up. Now we refer to his armies. Armies fight wars. At first, you were slaves who couldn't even defend yourself. Go ahead. I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Yeah. Therefore. Shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance? Forever? All praises, man. Come on, you read down to verse 21. Then we're gonna jump in the first month. Verse 20, 20. Verse 20. My bad. Go ahead. Ye shall eat nothing. Uh -huh. 18. You read down to 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the first month on the 14th day mm -hmm. of the month at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until. The one and 20, 20th day of the month at Easter. So tonight, all the way up until next Wednesday night, your diet should consist of unleavened bread. Whatever else you eat, just make sure it ain't got leaven in it. But you got to eat unleavened bread all seven days at his feast. It's a must. All right, some of us make pizzas out of them. and Get creative. You know, there ain't nothing to be afraid of. Just get creative with it. 
You know what I'm saying? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and all type of stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying? Be making, yeah, yeah, making sop, dipping, <laughs> dipping the bread. <laughs> Stop it up. Turkey, bacon, eggs, yeah. and yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, Doc, let's get it. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your house. Strip off that. Get clear them cabinets out. They should have been cleared out by, by the time you got down there. All right? Come on. Leaven in your bodies. Yeah. Which is the yeah, we're going to go into it. Go ahead. For whosoever eateth that which is leaven, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel. Man. Whether he be a stranger yeah. or born in the land. Shabbat dead. And none of them are born in the land of Israel at this moment. They born in Egypt. You see? This go, this go, look, the law is prophetic. It already knew it was going to be Israelites when we get into the land born in Israel and Israelites who would grow up outside of Israel but would show up for the feast. Considered as strangers. All right? Because they weren't born in the land. All right? Come on, Hebrew. Let's get it. Ye shall eat nothing leaven. Uh -huh. In all your habitations Come on. shall you eat unleavened bread. All right, drop that. Drop that. John 1, 29, one verse. Show you Messiah is the Lamb of the Most High. Easy work. We almost done, y'all. Y'all bear wisdom. Messiah was on the cross for hours. Surely y'all can bear a little warmth. Huh? Hey, who in there complaining? Y'all all right? Oh, okay, I'm just making sure. Somebody in their mind, like, I can't stand them. They always talking about one more verse, and it'd be about 20 more verses. Dang. We got to make sure y'all eat spiritually before we eat physically. Hallelujah. John 1 and 29. It's all about understanding. Y'all, scripture tell you with all your getting, get you some understanding. Right? We got to eat spiritually. We're going to say some powerful prayers. We're going to hear some powerful songs. We're going to get in the spirits. Right, not the Christmas spirit. Huh? Those they call oh, Christmas a spirit, not the Easter spirit, but the Holy Spirit. Right? Hallelujah. Yeah. John one and twenty nine. What it say? John chapter one verse twenty nine. Yeah. The next day, John said, "Y'all sure come unto him and said, behold, the Lamb of the Most High is huh. taken away the sins of the world.'" You see why we go into Exodus and talk about the Lamb. And when the blood the destroyer passed over, all that was a, a shadow or reflection of the true lamb of the most high, which take away sins. Make sense? The lamb of the most high is not over there in that pan over there. Everybody understand that, right? He's at the right hand of the heavenly father right now speaking on our behalf. Right now. Stop putting him to shame by being self-willed. Verse 36, one verse. Verse 36. Yeah. And looking upon Yahushua as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High. So now we know who the Lamb of the Most High is and what the Most High was alluding to back in Egypt. It was about accepting and believing in his only begotten beloved son. So you could be spared the eternal death. Everybody understand that? Yep. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 5, two verses. Further proof on what we're saying. We ain't making this up. All right. Now ask yourself if you can go ask Big Mama them. Big Mama, can you show me with the Bible why we go on Easter egg hunts? <laughs> and if you can get an in-depth breakdown according to the scriptures on why, you're not gonna get it. Or why we bow to Christmas trees and sing under the mistletoe and say fa la 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 la. You're not gonna get an explanation, biblically speaking. But these little jokers in here can grow up 20 years from now and say, hey, pops, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Unc, while we was doing that all the years, thought you never asked, flip up open your Bible. And boy, you're going to get hey, classes in session. You understand? You're going to get some understanding even 20 years from now why we observe what we observe. So anybody talking about the most high, make them show you in the Bible. You should be able to highlight and take notes and ask questions and do all that. Because your soul is on the line. Is your soul worth fighting for? It is? Uh, it I mean, y'all kind of quiet, is it? Of course. Uh, I, I'm just making sure that everybody, everybody in her dry eyes. Y'all ready to eat, huh? Now they'll mally to shut up. Dang, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Y'all like they're smiling. <laughs> All right. First Corinthians 5. Let's read 6 through 8. Hallelujah. 
Let's get it. Come on. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 5, 6 to 8. All right. First Corinthians 5, verse 6. Yeah. Your glory is not good. Yeah. Know ye not that a little leaven yeah. leaveneth the lump, the whole lump. Leaven right here is symbolic for sin. So it's saying a little bit of wickedness would destroy everything we got going on up in there. That's why whenever little fires break out, y'all, we got to jump right on it. We, can, we can't afford to let a little fire grow into a big fire. and Don't nobody want to say nothing because you feel you can't be told that not up in her. You be all right when you get done, when, when that correction comes down. Or you, know, you can go off in the little corner, you know, talk your talk under your breath. And when you're done, we still love you. Come on back around. You be all right. But a little bit of wickedness to destroy everything we doing. A little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. All right. This is the feast of unleavened bread, right? All right. Come on. Verse seven. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Come on. That ye may be a new lump. So you are called, you are symbolic for unleavened bread. That you may be a new creature. Go ahead. As ye are unleavened. Come on. For even Yahushua, Hamashiach, our Passover is sacrificed for us. And more proof that he's the lamb. <laughs> Right, he ain't talking about killing bread. You understand? So it's letting you know he's our Passover. How is he the Passover? Because he's the Lamb of the Most High. Right. Further proof is verse eight. Go ahead. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Let us what? Keep the feast. So we're supposed to keep the Passover, but this is how. How? Go ahead. Not with old leaven. Yeah, lead the old man at home. Shouldn't nobody be here bragging about they street, they street escapades and what you used to do back in the day and you know who you used to punk and you know how what block you used to run. We ain't trying to hear all that. And what or or how you used to have all the men slobbing over your Instagram picture. We ain't trying to hear none of that. That's all old man stuff. You've been reborn, right? You're a new lump, you're unleavened. All right. Let us keep the feast, not with old leaven. Come on. Neither with the leaven of malice oh. and wickedness. Leaven bread is, is called malice and wickedness. It's symbolic for sin. This is the feast of unleavened bread. So as you was getting leaven out of your cabinets, get sin out of your heart. See how it all lined up? It all lined up. It all got to do with the Messiah. All of it. All right, go ahead. Physical and spiritual. That's right. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity uh, and truth. Everybody in here should be sincere. Uh, and it should be about what? The truth. Not lies in this hour. All right? Truth. Next scripture. First Peter 1. First Peter 1. We can prove what we're talking about. Now all glory to the Most High, not to us. This Bible was around way before us. Even the Americans. All right? Way before us and will be around way after us. The word of the Most High stands forever. All right. First Peter 1. We start at verse 13. We're going to read down to 18. 19, my bad. 20. Go ahead. First Peter 1, 13 through 20. Let's get it. First Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Come on. Come on. Be sober. Come on. Be sober. Be what? Be sober. The Bible tells you to be sober. Y'all, we at war. Be vigilant, man. You had an adversary looking to destroy you out here, devour you. What we look like not being sober. Be sober. All right. And if you're going to pour taking some strong grapes or some grapes in this hour, you're going to have to be responsible. If one bird make you take your clothes off, you can't drink one bird. Too bad for thou. Sit down somewhere. We expecting every adult up in here to be what? Responsible. All right, we can't have a feast being defiled. That's right, man. Straight, it's just the truth. You be all right. Who he think he can tell me, just like I just did? If I have a bird make you act unseemly, guess what? You can't drink up in there. You just can't drink. You be all right. What take it the Wilshire? We got we got plenty of uh spring water, plenty of plenty of alkaline water up in here. You be all right. All right, go ahead. Be sober. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. 
As what kind of children? As obedient children. We in this hour, we must obey. All right, whatever the most high commands that you better be doing. Obey him. Take yourself out of it. Now ain't the time to do what you want to do. All right, go ahead. Not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust. Yeah. In your he was without knowledge back in the old days. So a lot of stuff you found out you were doing was wrong. You were like, boy, I can't believe I used to do that. <clears throat> Thank the most high, he ain't killed me while I was doing it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In your what? Ignorance. According to your former lusts. Those are your desires. Because you know, hey, can't nobody tell me. See, I, I do what I, because I was raised like this. That's everybody's favorite phrase. Like that's going to give you an excuse on judgment day. You ain't got no pass. None of us got a pass in that day. What the judge tell you down here? Ignorance is what? No excuse for breaking the law. <laughs> so when you go to court, you gonna say, I didn't know that's what it was. I didn't know that the speed limit was this. You gonna say, what that mean to me? Because you didn't know. All right, go ahead. Verse 15. But as he which has called you is holy. Yeah. So be ye in all manner of conversation. You hear that? What we supposed to talk about is righteousness, not gossip. Righteousness, not slander. You understand? I challenge every brother and sister up in here tonight. Every conversation you have better be about righteousness. That's, right. That's the commandment in the Bible. Be a, hey, he said, we supposed to be holy. Will you be holy in all your conversation in? Be talking about righteousness. Speak something that's going to build the next brother or sister up. Stop worrying about everybody's household. That ain't none of your business anyway. All right, go ahead. Right. Verse 16. Yeah. Because it is written, uh huh. Be ye old, yeah. For I am old. That's a commandment, y'all. Y'all see that? The most I commanded us to be separate, holy, set apart because he is. All right, go ahead. And if he call on the father, yeah, for without respect of persons, judging according to every man's word. everything you do, you're gonna be judged for. You know, the most I ain't got no respect of persons, right? Don't think just because you were Israelites, you're gonna get away with something. He don't have what you call respect of persons. You'll get judged just like a heathen acting like a heathen. You understand? And he ain't gonna he ain't gonna uh stop what he's doing just because you and your feelings about something. What that mean to him? Nothing at all. Go ahead. Pass the time of your sojourning in fear. In what? In fear. The fear of him, not fear of nobody else, because he ain't gave us the spirit of fear. But pass the time of your dwelling in his flesh in fear of the most high. Mm. Make sure you got a holy conversation coming off them lips. That's right. You understand? Straight up. I challenge everybody in here. You understand? Every all these little pocket conversations that be going on better be in righteousness. It better, be, be. it better be in building somebody up. All right. Come on. Verse 18. Yeah. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things. You were not bought from bondage with your little money or your 401k <laughs> or your insurance <laughs> policy. Or your gold or your silver or your bitcoins. That ain't how you got redeemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call that cryptocurrency. You know, I've been learning a little bit. Uh, go ahead. And silver and gold. Yeah. From your vain conversation. Yeah. Received by tradition from your father. Trip off that. The tradition and vain, worthless conversation of your fathers. That ain't how you've been redeemed. Come on. But with the precious blood of the Mashiach. How were you redeemed? Mm -hmm. With the, the precious blood of the Messiah. With the precious blood of the Messiah. Go ahead. As, of a, lamb. As a what? As of a, lamb. a lamb. There go the blood back in Egypt. And there go the lamb. Go ahead. Without blemish. Who was who was who was sinless? Perfect in the eyes of the most high. Go ahead. And without spot. Verse 20. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Foreordained meaning before the foundation of the earth was established, the son of the most high was already chosen by his father. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take y'all a little further deeper. It tells you in 2 Timothy 1, you was chosen in the Messiah who was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Yes. That's how special you are to him. After all, you yeah. are his body, right? He's the head, we're the body. Where his body, his church, the called out assembly was foreordained as well. Before the foundation of this earth was established, 
that's how special you are in his eyes. That's right. Yes, y'all, the Bible deals with predestination. It does. That means all, either this is an accident tonight or this is by divine appointment. Ooh. I'm going to let y'all decide in your own little minds what you think. Either this is an accident and fluke of nature. We are here right now. Or this is a divine calling. Foreordained. You figure it out. I'd have made my mind up. I, uh, all right, go ahead. Verse 20, finish it off. Verse 20 again. Yeah. Who burned was foreordained yeah. for the foundation of the world. Come on home. But was manifest in these last times for you. But was revealed in these last times for you. Last verse, last scripture, 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11, start at verse 20. We're going to get ready to take the toast. You understand? We're going to take the toast. Y'all, this seals you up under what's called the new covenant. It right. seals you under the Lamb of the Most High and right. His blood. You understand? We ain't got physical blood to apply to no doorposts. Once you apply the blood of the Lamb by simply believing and declaring that He is your Master and Savior, believe in that, you shall be saved from the wrath to come. All right? Last verse or last scripture, 1 Corinthians 11. All praise is glory now unto the most high. Well, look behind me, y'all. Yeah. Right. Yahoo! That's right. It brings it all together. Good to see y'all in the building this evening, man. All praise is glory now. We get done with this. We're going to say us some prayers. We're going to pray against these forces of darkness or Egypt or Babylon. I'm going to get us some good songs off. You know, y'all going to be in the spirit if you feel like, you know, running a mile, run a mile. You know, that's Yachanan back there. And boy, boy get the, yeah, he what get the high knee. He get the high knee and hitting flips. He, he, he's in the spirit. It's all good, brother. First Corinthians 11, start at verse 20. Let's get it. Bring it on. Corinthians 11, verse 20. Yeah. When ye come together, therefore, in one place. This is not to eat y'all sure stuff. Trip off that. So y'all, this is a spiritual feast, right? It is talking about eating physical food, but he's saying, look, this is more than you eating physical food. There's a spiritual understanding everybody up in here must have before you put your bicuspers and molars to work. Well, you can school. Bitcoin, bicuspers. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been, I've been reading a little taste. Science and man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you put your bicuspers and molars to use tonight, there's a certain understanding that everybody in here got to arrive to. Bring it up, please. Hey, All right. I'm it up. All right. So being here ain't just to eat. All right, go ahead. Verse 21. For in the eating, yeah. everyone take it before other yeah. his own son. Y'all know what that means? When you hungry, all you thinking about is satisfying your own hunger lust. You ain't worried about nobody else. I'm hungry. My stomach touching my back. I need to eat. That's all you worried about. All right, go ahead. And one is hungry. Yeah. And the other is drunk. Wrong, wrong mindset to be in, in this speech. Right? You should not be here just to satisfy your, your uh, wine lust and your food lust. That's right. Because that shows what? You're selfish. Eat that at home. Right? This is about you satisfying you. This ain't about you serving the most high. It's about you what? Pacifying your hunger pains. And your thirst pains. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is deeper than that. Go ahead. And another is drunk. Come on. What? Have ye not houses to eat, to drink in? Yeah, you got houses and to eat and drink in. You could have ate before you got here. All right. Go ahead. Or despise ye the assembly of your house. Come on. And shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Yeah. Shall I praise you in this? Yeah. I praise you not. I praise you not. I praise you not. All right. So don't be in here in a selfish mindset. All right. Go ahead. For well, I have received of your house that which also I deliver unto you. Yeah. That the master, Yahushua, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. He took bread the same night he was betrayed. You understand? Everybody need to go ahead and take bread. Everybody got bread up in there? Get that bread up. Get your hands up if you ain't got no who all, bread. Who, who all believe in this hour? Any bread over there? Look the, look the sisters up in that row. Get everybody some bread up in there. 
Yeah. It's, time to, it's time to come up under the bond and covenant. One of these young daughters of Zion moves, man. Look That's, right. That's right. That's Keep right. Your hands up, y'all. See, make sure y'all get some bread. Everybody get y'all some bread in y'all hands. Unleavened bread. This is what holy convocation they, means. They, they, know, they, they got the drink, drinks over there. Get y'all some Give bread. Get them up. Some more Make sure you don't want to. Get y'all. Yeah, that's bitter herbs, she bro. She they need bread. 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 My, my giving out bitter herbs. going off. Yeah, that's bitter herb, baby. Going off, baby. Maj, that's bitter herb. They need bread. Don't want to get that off. Over there, back there, with their hands up. Over there too. Y'all see that row over there? And then Dee Dee and Mama. Cause a bit of herb follows. Lift, lift your hands up high, y'all, so they can make sure they get y'all with the bread. Who ain't got no bread? Lift your hand up. All these Hebrews right here ain't got no bread. Take the plate, Dee Dee. Take the plate, Dee Dee, and pass it down. I think this side. Uh, Shiloh ain't got no bread. Just look Shiloh. Shiloh up. Going off, man. Hold on, y'all don't eat yet, babies. Babies already, they ready, they hungry. Since y'all taking too long, we about to eat this. Everybody ain't got bread, hold your hand up. Everybody got bread? You got bread, nephew? I got bread. All right, yeah, I ain't got bread. Boy, boy's gonna be deep in his daddy's, boy. All right, everybody get that bread up. Get that bread up. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. The same night the Messiah was betrayed, he took bread. Verse 24, what does it say? And when he had given thanks, yeah. he break it and said, take and eat. Come on. This is my body. This bread represents the body of the Messiah. Go ahead. Which is broken for you. Broken for all us. Go ahead. This do, yeah, in remembrance of me. Messiah say, "Remember me, y'all believe." Yeah, of course. Y'all gotta say that like y'all. Do y'all believe in the same? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, look. How about we remember him this evening? Everybody, boy, I take eating remembers of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Jay ripped that deal like she. She told that bread like it was leather. Eat that bread, that boy. This bread represent everybody's being initiated tonight. Hallelujah. It's bread into the brotherhood of the Messiah. This bread represent his body. You know this blood in, blood out, right? That's right. Uh, Don't be like Judas. Uh, all right. All right. What else to say, my brother? Verse 25. Come on home. After the same manner, also. Get them cups up. Go ahead. This is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. Uh -huh. Yeah. This do ye as long as ye drink it mm. in remembrance of me. Be covered by the blood of the Lamb of the Most High. Y'all believe? Of course. Hey, you pour out liquor for your dead homeboys all the time. How you can't remember the Son of the Most High? Drink in remembrance of him and be covered by the blood of the Lamb of the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the mighty Yah. Yah. Oh. Ah. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Finish that off so we can go ahead and get these prayers on, brother. Let's get it. Verse 26. Yeah. For as often as you eat this bread yeah. and drink this cup. As often as we do this, whenever we in fellowship. Even though this was doing Passover, y'all, y'all realize every time we come together as believers and eat and drink, we are boldly declaring we are in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Every time we get together. So don't be eating. Right. Don't be eating with each other. And you got a problem with each other. That's right. You understand? We are boldly declaring we are in communion with the Father, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's right. All right. So eat in sincerity and in truth. All right, not with wickeds and madness on your mind. All right, hallelujah. Y'all think hallelujah. that's something? What y'all get some of that bitter herb for real? All right, all right, come on, Hebrew. Ye do show yeah. y'all show his death, yeah, till he comes. See, we both remember his sacrifice, his death. It don't say remember his birthday, yeah. So you can get out the Christmas spirit, and that's a lie anyway. 
This is what you're supposed to do to remember our master and what he did. All right, go ahead. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread yeah. and drink the cup of Yahushua unworthy, Un what? unworthy, come on, shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahushua. Did y'all hear that? You might as well be Judas who has sold him out. So don't be up in here with malice and wickedness in your heart and mind. You understand? Be a holy in all manner of conversations right. this evening and challenge yourself every day from her after to operate in the same spirit. Mm. You don't get no days off to be wicked. Mm. You don't let your children go to school and say, be righteous two days out of the week and the rest of the week do what you want. If you hold your children to that standard, what make you think the most high ain't holding us to that standard? That's his children. All right, be ye holy for he is holy. Come on, I but let every let me read it again. Come on. let a man examine himself. Yeah, yeah. And so let him eat of that bread yeah. and drink of that cup. Examine yourselves. Right? Really, you know, do some soul searching. Ask yourself, am I really about this? You know what I'm saying? Or do I got well, I got resentment in my mind because I got unresolved problems with the next brother or sister. You don't even want to go out little. A lot of this stuff can be squashed by just opening your mouth and doing and being obedient. So I say problems gonna happen, but did you did you follow the protocol? Go out let them. Usually you don't go past that. It's usually a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And he ain't with a hug. Love you too, bro, man. Dang. Mm -hmm. I thought something was wrong because you, you, your shalom was too dry. <laughs> <laughs> thought you had some problems with me or something. Sure. No, I keep going off. The devil was playing on your mind, brother. All right, go ahead. For he that eateth and drink unworthy, yeah, eat and drinketh damnation to himself. See, you would damn yourself if you eat this, what we just did unworthy. You would condemn yourself, right? Because somebody was at the Messiah's last meal eating unworthy. Who was that? Judas. He was there with malice and wickedness on his mind, right? And you see what happened to him. It said it was better off he was never born. Don't be in that spirit, man. All right, Judas is nowhere near the standard. He's the example on what not to be like. Right. All right, go not ahead. Not an excuse. Not an excuse. Who sin? You know that was you know there there was a Judas around. Yeah, so we can learn not to be like him. Straight up. All right, go ahead. Because you see people are trying to justify Judas and they miss body. Not discerning the body of our man. Come on. For this cause. Yeah. For this cause. Come on. Many are weak. Because people were eating unworthy. And sick. People in the assembly in Corinth was weak and sick. Among you. Yeah. And many sleep. Many mean sleep mean dead. You see? Because they was eating this spiritual feast unworthy. All right? That's the judgment behind it. So that you don't got no choice. If you don't want to be marked by the most high powers and enemy, don't eat this bread unworthy. Don't drink this cup unworthy. Did you see how the most high force us to love one another? Up. He forced you to. Up. Unless you want to be weak, sick, and or dead. All right. Uh, and then you know what? The most high also gave you. Mm -hmm. And this this thank you for that mercy as well. Because if you do miss this Passover, right? He gives you another one a month exactly from this time. Mm -hmm. So you can go and make amends with whatever that is that's malison. Causing you issues with your heart, your mind, your spirit, right? Because you're unclean. When you have hate and sin in your temple, you are unclean. You got to get that together. Right? So even in his mercy, he made a provision where you can partake Passover a month from now. If you don't fix it by then, then your soul is cut off from Israel. That's a dangerous You ain't fit for the king. Say it again. You ain't fit for the king. It's just like that. Oh, yeah, verse 231. Yeah, come on. For if we would judge ourselves, right? We should not be judged. If you just examine yourself at the end of every night and say, you know what, I probably could have said that a little different. I probably could responded like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel I, I fell off right there. Next time that situation come up, I'm gonna handle it like this. If you just judge yourself or critique yourself, you wouldn't be judged. Wouldn't nobody else be able to level a charge against you? Because you you're constantly judging yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. But when we are judged, yeah, we are chastened of your house. Meaning we are disciplined by him. It's like when you whoop your children. It's to discipline them. It's to make them better. 
All right, go ahead. And we should not be condemned with the word. That's what we, he, we his children. He loves right. us. So sometimes he got to whoop you so you don't catch that brimstone sandwich well, you don't be in the lake of fire. So you don't be taking a brimstone bath at the end of this. All right, go ahead. Wherefore, my brother. Come on, huh? When ye come together to eat, yeah. tarry one for another. See, have patience, right? That don't mean you take your time and be lazy. That they gonna have to wait for me. Nah, move around like this is the feast of the Most High. But we are commanded to be patient with one another, tarry for one another. Oh. This is the Master's feast. What if the Most High wasn't patient with us? We'd be done. He missile food around here. We'd be done. All right, done, done, a done deal. The verse thirty-four. And if any man hungry, yeah, let him be at home. Let him what? Eat at home. See. This is, this is a spiritual feast. Eat at home if you was home. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. That ye come not together into condemnation. Come on. And the rest will I set in order uh -huh. when I come. Hallelujah. 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 Did y'all get some understanding? All praise. You get some understanding? All praise. All Happy feast of Passover and unleavened bread, all of Israel who believe in the Mashiach. Man, now is the time. We just came up under the body and blood of the Messiah. The true lamb of the most high. You are covered by the blood yeah. of the heavenly father or his son. You've been initiated into eternity. That's right. Blood in, blood out. Blood in, blood out. All yeah. praises. All right. But finish your course. You got to endure to the end. Finish. You don't show up to the first day of high school and say, I graduated. No, if you, you got to you got to you got to finish your course. You got to get your credits before you graduate. So now you're on the road to salvation, but finish, all right? And your prayers say, I am covered by the blood of Yahushua. I am under his blood. You understand? It's power and all that. It's power and all that. When every bite you take tonight, say, I am in communion with the Ruach, the Holy Spirit. Every sip you take tonight, I am in communion with the Holy Spirit, with, with my family in heaven. I've earned the right to be called a son and daughter of the Most High. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the mighty Yah. Yah. All right, y'all. We're about to go ahead and get some beautiful songs off. We got Aki Yaki in the building. He can do well. Y'all just cue me when it's time to go ahead and uh she works, do our thing. Thank God though. Did y'all practice for that? I do that too. All right, let's get it. So y'all know how we do it. Get on your knees and face the east. We get our knees dirty for. Yeah, we sure I'm watch out. Yeah, right. Don't we? Yeah, right. right. We get on our knees for our master. So let's do it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Where my pillow is? I don't need no pillow. You got it, puppy shoe. <laughs> let's get it. Oh, great. Y'all gonna say it with me, right? I should be hearing y'all over this microphone tonight. This is Pesach. This is Passover. This is the day that the death angel passed over us because we applied the blood of Yahushua Mashiach, right? All right, so look. Let's shake the heavens with this one. All right, let's get it. Yahweh, Yahweh, 
Mika, Miku Mika, Yesa. Pass it back and forth. Let me get on that 
Okay. All right, y'all, we're about to go ahead and uh, pray against these forces of darkness. And then when we get done, we're going to ask the most high to rain down his spirit. You understand? That may live and dwell with us forever. You know what I'm saying? More than ever, we need activation of who I got from this and my power and essence of every father. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Right, Heavenly Father, Yahweh El El Young, we come to you in the name of our Don the Master, Yahweh Shua the Messiah. We take authority over we take authority over Satan and all his evil spirits from our position at the right hand of Yah, seated above every name that is named, and the power and the authority of our Don the Master, Yahweh Shua of Nazareth. Use us as your battle racks and weapons of war to come against an attack. To break the backs and find the strong man powerless. To find the strong man powerless over every heathen nation that is oppressing the 12 tribes of Israel this very second. Loose yourself. We cast them down and we cast them out through a herd of swine. And the authority in the name of Yahushua of Nazareth, your only begotten beloved son. We loose all your ministering angels of warfare. Send forth your most militant and elite angelic warriors to break the backs and crack the skulls of every ruler of darkness. To break the backs and crack the skulls of every principality of all the worldwide organizations, such as the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati, the Rothschild bloodline, the Astor bloodline, the Bundy bloodline, the Collins bloodline, the DuPont bloodline, the Freeman bloodline, the Kennedy bloodline, the Lee bloodline, the Onassis bloodline, the Rockefeller bloodline, the Russell bloodline, the Van Dunn bloodline, and the Merovingian bloodline, the House of Saud of the Saudi Arabia, that bloodline, the House of Windsor and the Queen of England, her bloodline, all the popes, their bloodline, Jared Kushner, his bloodline, Henry Kissinger, his bloodline, Robert Gallo, his bloodline, and Ayatollah Khomeini, his bloodline. We bind all of them powers. Lose yourself. We bind the strong man over all the Islamic orders in every religion, the Catholic Church and Vatican City, communist empires and dominant governments, ISIS, Al Qaeda, the Taliban, the CIA. It is 13, the Mafia, La Costa, Nosha, Hamas, Boko Haram, every street gang, every street gang and drug cartel, the Illuminati, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the World Council of Churches, the Americas, the Americas, every common market nation, Canada and Mexico, every organization, every organization that has rituals that are contrary to the word of God. In the authority, in the authority of our God, Yahweh Shua Mashiach, we take authority. We take authority of all foul and evil spirits, authority, princes, kings, powers, world rulers, and the highest and mighty servants of Satan. We find them to be powerless. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. In the mighty name of our God, the Master, Yahweh Shua Mashiach, Yahweh, the authority of the only begotten Son. Now, Yahushua Masayat, we pronounce the judgments. We pronounce the judgments written in the scriptures upon the evil and greedy conspirators in and over these worldwide organizations. As it is written, Yah, we ask you, we ask you to bring upon them the judgments found in Psalm 109, that chapter, Psalm 149, that chapter, in Revelation 18, that chapter, Yahweh El El Yom, the owner, the creator, the possessor of all the leaders, in the name of Yahweh Shua, your beloved son of Nazareth, we pray before your throne, all the sick in Israel, all who may be plagued in mind, body, or spirit, your word says whatever you find on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. We claim authority. We claim authority in our throne, Yahushua, Mashiach, of Nazareth. We are seated at your right hand right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. We're using all your ministry angels of health. Command them. 
But man that the rain down the hill that is complete. A hill that is understood right now. 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 Command them, command them to rain down and crack the skulls of the coronavirus. To rain down and crack the skulls of the coronavirus. And every sickness that is plaguing your people is very sick. Command them, command them to establish a protective border around your saints. Command them, command them to come against and found and put down every sickness and unclean spirit as an opposition to the real being of your people. Command them, command them to render a judgment in our favor right now. Right now, right now, right now. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, and by his mighty and precious blood, we pray. Yahweh, your way, we lose in your ministry angels of provision and blessings. Command them, command them to shower us with the blessings of Abraham, your friend. Command the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 to chase us down and overtake us. Command who are back on this to give us a continual overflow of your spirit. Command the fruits, the gifts, and signs of who are back on this to chase us down and overtake us. And wherever the soul of our feet tread, we may boldly the throne. We may boldly the throne. We may boldly the throne. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let the sign of the prisoner come before you. According to your power, preserve thou those who are appointed to die. And when you get the bosom of our enemies, say you follow their reproach. And with their reproach, you and God. So we. Your people and sheep of your pasture will give you thanks forever. We will, we will, we will magnify your name unto all generations. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the mighty God!
Hold on, yes, I'm gonna turn yes, the brew on in. Y'all, we can go back to dry eyes. Dry eyes. We want Mike. Yeah. Hold on. What what is that? I'm ready to go fight now. Fight now. Bang on Saint Peter. You ready to go fight? Oh, oh Oh, no, no. oh, praise. Let the walls of this building look like fighting. That's right, guys. Right? Get the blood of your sword right down the walls yeah. of this building. That's right. That's right. Y'all listen up. All right, but with the Holy Spirit, we're going to get this right. Y'all know somebody right here. Yeah, of course. The enemy tried to uh, mess with the choir, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Because we the choir. We're going to bring this in. So we just put 
Uh, you might going to send out my text, but inside of uh, the WhatsApp, the survival group, you got the words to share my is right here. All right? So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, bet. I, uh, you know what, sister? If y'all just, you know, come to the front and just kind of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Come on to the front, sis. Y'all y'all know who y'all are. Just come on to the front, kind of, you know, God's people. Y'all know the song. Come on, sister. Come up to the front. Let's get it. Hey, sit this by sit this by the way. Can they hold power without the mic? I take this into the congregation. Stand in the spirit. Hey, get on y'all. Y'all gonna see this all over the day. Shema Israel. That means we are one. Shema Israel. Come on. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Yeah. I'm all right. Oh, y'all feel it? Oh, yeah. Come on.
Ladies back there, the sisters, she rules. What we doing? They lining up. Y'all serving. How are we doing this? We're going to line up according to women and children. All right, so y'all already know, man, y'all got to fall back. Uh, children and women going to line on up. Y'all get y'all plates. Man, eat last. Remember that we eating in haste. We eating in haste, y'all. So if you hungry, you better line up now. <laughs> Y'all taking too long. Go on, line up. Women and children. Women and children. Women and children. Go on, line on up. Y'all see that they put tape down there for y'all to line up with. Women and children line up according to the tape. Hey, boys, uh, boys. My warriors fall on back. We're going to eat last. Y'all, boys, let the women go first. Boy, hey, yeah, y'all too. Y'all can sit the men right now. Sit y'all little butts down. Let them children eat first. Then y'all eat before the men, all right? Hey, hey Morton, they think they short legged still. Yeah, you see, you see that Morton? They got all in the line. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Hey, Morton, they been shoot their whole life. They should know her. Oh, praise. Hallelujah. Oh, look at this. So, uh, we finna turn the, uh, we're gonna turn the computer around for y'all to see everybody. People be coming in hollering, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know. Shemek pay stop, happy Passover. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna turn the camera around, a little taste for y'all, and all praise. I know y'all felt that prayer. I felt it. I know y'all felt that boy. And they'll have my heart skipping a couple beats. Literally. Hallelujah. All praise, all praise. And it's a blessing to be up under the blood of Yahushua Mashayak, man. Happy Passover, family. Shemek pay stop. What you want me? What you want me to do with the camera, bit, bro? Right, what you want me to sit there? Maybe we sit on the table right here. Yeah, I need to that way because if you want to leave it up here for now, and then just turn. Got this center. Few books on. I got you. I got what you're saying. Somebody look at their phone and see who we have. Hello, yeah, fam. 
Hey, come on, man. Nah, man. You take the bitch, man. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Hey, you got your Bluetooth set up? I can put mine on. Which one of y'all sisters takes a picture? Hey, 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 matter of fact, let's hit this bit hard real quick, fam. Yeah. You want to wait until we get the food? Yeah, yeah. Are right, we going to wait till we get the food, then we're going to hit that bit hard? Stand so right, did you hit every light back there and turn them on? Right there behind, oh. So it's right down the bottom right door. Right behind. Bottom door, sir. Right behind, oh. yeah, just keep everything up. Oh. Thank you, sir. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, Come on, y'all. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, yeah, you ain't supposed to be eating, Come on. <laughs> you, know. oh, you a short legged man. All long cuts. Come on up here. Oh, 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 Yeah, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Eli, look at that. Eli, my kids are trying to grab your brother where I am. Eli. Call Eli's name. Eli. We taking them. Y'all better get it together. We taking them. Three. 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 We got this. We can take it. I guess I can keep my 
All right, y'all, we're going to have to get a rotation going with the sea rules up here. All right, what's y'all ready to get through anything? We want to use are the same. At Center Biomed, we believe the fit of your knee replacement shouldn't be either. That's why we offer Persona Knee, a total or partial knee replacement designed to support your mobility. Commercial break. We will continue. We got 27 seconds commercial. Shalom, Israel. Y'all still with us? I can't even tell how many people with us. Just have to look online and see. Well, no, sir, I'm fine. I left bread, lamb, and bitters. Well, still got 103 with it. Probably since that fire, the DJ. Hey, man, you gotta go through these commercials, man. Sure. Uh, put on the Wuwa. The, uh, your, your, what you call it? I am. I got four more seconds. That's how it's free. You gotta get commercial. We back. <laughs> All right, so we're about to shut it down. All right, Israel, we're going to go ahead and sign off and go ahead and fellowship. Just wanted to kick it with y'all a little bit. We love y'all indeed and true. Shabbat Shalom. My praise was a blessing to y'all as it was to us. We'll get with y'all. They're going to change things. Oh, who else? Anybody on there? Yeah, we got about a hundred people on there. Oh, this is my Folks mama. Cry, baby. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous. Oh, no, you ain't going to be famous. Go sit down. Go sit down. I'm going to be famous. Go sit down. Go sit down. I got it. You 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 all right, all right, everybody that can sit down and eat. So here we are, eat and eat. You did get your sisters over here, gonna need a switch out in a minute. So some of your sisters gonna have to help out. And we're supposed to be eating and eat. Y'all, come on, let's go. But I do not, I will never do not throw away your lamb bones, parents, mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers, and those who are watching. Boy, I know you ain't over there jumping through the blood. Yeah, I figured you out. Pick it up. 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 All right, y'all. Make sure y'all got y'all lamb bones and everything. Please, we have a thing right here on this back table. You see the instance burn? Toward the back door, put all your lamb bones. Now, I'm gonna get ready to shut it down. I love all y'all that did it. She just wanted to share a little bit of this with y'all. Y'all stay healthy, stay safe, keep the most high. Let's go ahead and end our copy of Hadassah. Let's go ahead and end our copy of Hadassah. Let's go ahead and end our copy of Hadassah. Let's go ahead and end our copy of Hadassah. Let's go ahead and end our copy of Hadassah. Let's go ahead and end our Hey, look, y'all, she a short nigga, baby, she wants to shoot. She's a bad short nigga. <laughs> you might get over that being an omelet of the year. You know, two of these youngest jokers. There's a little lady I can't wait to say this one time. Hey, look, hey, look. Hey, look, hey, look. 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 Hey,
fast, run, run, go fast, 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 f